Well, it's going to be umpire Andrew Thomas to get us on the way. You watch it be an absolute beauty of a game. One taking on three. It's one and taking on Mary Warren. It's going to be Liam Burdigan to get us underway. Thanks, Liam. Thank you very much, Leo. Underway. Top three clash here underway. Mutimer first hands on the footy. Didn't get proper position away. Still bobbing around the centre square area. Tonna wraps up. A Wandon player there and a nice tackle. And Van Duren will have a secondary ball up. Your man, Brzezizi. It was. Apologies. There's Brzezizi again. Centers one slams down one uh, Sam slams down one down forward. We'll eventually get my words out. Oh, Snapping boy. goal around the body, and there's the first one to the way Tommy of Bellino. the dogs. He loves having a highlight when we're commentating him, doesn't he, Leo? Absolutely does. Tommy's got the dashing haircut as well, uh, and got the short sides and the long back, and uh, <laughs> looks like one of those plastic beetle wigs you used to be able to buy in the sixties, Brett. A lot of you blokes <laughs> wouldn't remember that. Wasn't and, uh, born. <laughs> it wasn't born, and uh, yeah, that's what they did. And Tommy to Bellino, not a check side kick straight through the middle, off to a great start here. The dogs has taken less yep. than a one a minute. So we've got a secondary ball. Lee Walters taking a charge now. He throws it up left hand, and even throws a straight bounces as well. Normally, when he's allowed to bounce, a quick free kick. Yep. Yeah, so holding. Gotta go the way of. Hello. Do we have a number twelve? No, we don't. We don't. So we'll find that out very, very soon. We did win a quick of a change, and we'll, we'll find out what happened. Uh, Brzezzi had it, gave it to Tommy Iron, straight down the middle of the ground here at the kennel, beats everybody there as well, got under the foot there of Johnson's, umpire lets him play on, goes out on the outer side of the ground, nobody can pick the footy up at the moment, trying to pick it up, there was Tonna of Anari Warren, he couldn't do so, goes to ground, little handball out the side, but they're slipping over, there's a free kick, going away of the pies, and it looks as though it's going to go out there to Zietzman. 12 was Suckling's yeah, number. Yeah, I reckon he's, he's uh, gone back to 12. He's gone back to 12. Well, they've they've tricked us indeed. with the 64 there, they I think. They did indeed. So they Can't told me that was... 64 there. Well, I was told his number 12 was up in Brisbane. So uh, a bit of a lie there. And uh, right in front of the school ball now with that. Look like Suckling. And that's what he's going to be called for the rest of the day. <laughs> little handball over the top. Came out by Munimo. Umpire just lets him play on. We're going in there very hard for Nary with Siwis. He couldn't get out of it as well. Off the ground they go. Just missed the hands there of Tommy Miller. Players just falling over themselves at the moment, and they're in a step over toe hold. I think that could be Molino at the bottom. It is. And it's going to be another ball up. He started lively, Molino. Ball goes up one down clearly here from Nary, and they get it into their forward line, but leading out is Hines. Hines now buffs through and gets a chip kick out to the wing to uh, Foley. Foley Ooh, doesn't bang. quite hit him, and in comes Molino again, who started really well. And we're going to see a boundary throw in right in front of the Nary coach's box on the outer wing. Just looking at there's only 64s out there, and the Not that we've seen so far. Anything over 60s, they're sitting right between you and uh, Liam Pretzel. <laughs> Absolutely, they are. Thanks very much. <laughs> no, ball comes out the back of the contest in the hands of Nary, wrapped up straight away by uh, the tackling Black. And we're going to see a, a ball up. Is there a relation from Tom Milano to the former Yes, there is. Yeah. He tries to keep it quiet. Ball Brzezzi. to half forward now. To 12. <laughs> and it's just gone out of bounds before Johnson can get anywhere near the football. And have we got confirmation on yeah, Suckling? Yeah, thanks very much, yep, Suckling's back to 12. Uh, yeah, jump must have been flown down by uh, Carrier Pigeon from uh, Brisbane. <laughs> ball back in. Ooh, that's a wild old throwing. Both Rackman were fighting in the ruck there. It was Benson and Mutsayers in the ruck there that time. Bound to be up by holding his shoulder too. So yeah, maybe I think he made a muscle there. Yeah, it looked like a wonky old throw. So. Ball comes to the outer side wing where Harry Warren just still trying to control the footy for Ball a touched. couple of times today. Siwi's had it. Put his teammate under a little bit of pressure. Eventually ended up with Miller. They're still Ooh, controlling the football careful. in front of their interchange bench. Don't want to give away any infringements here. Ball comes back to the middle. Dempster was under a little bit of pressure there. There was a couple of Dogs players nearly touching the footy. Dempster plays on. Handballs over the top to Miller. Suckling. Went through a few sets of hands, but they're inside forward 50 here. Uh, Nary Warren. That's Mutima. Oh, that's Could say he was held without it. That's not Mutima, sorry. Or is it Mutima? No, I think you're, no. you're right. He was certainly held no, without it wasn't the ball. Mutima. That's Tonner. It was Tonner. Jo Josh. Hands it off to Cody, who sets sail for home and puts it through the middle. Oh, he's a gun player, isn't he? Trent Cody can't give him anything. You uh, just got to be right on top. I'm not sure if they're tagging him today, Pretzel, but... It was that first captain's goal of the day. That's what I can well, say. Well, it certainly was, too. And... Uh, well, we, the other day we had a, we had a president's uh, goal, I a think. president's and, goal? Yeah, so uh, 
can't remember what game that was, Liam. But were you up you commentating the two somewhere? Oh, I could have. Oh, it might have been Nick. It wasn't a it two. Was up by yeah, yeah. the president's goal. We That's just right. thought that was a highlight for the year. <laughs> oh, Back true. in the middle, Hi <laughs> Thomas threw it up in the air again, and now he got another centre clearance. Now all oh, the big left foot kick of Stags well smothered uh, there by Brzezzi. Uh, by Brzezzi. They can't quite pick it up. There's a whistle on play. Another free kick. Going to go the way of the pies. Going along quite nicely at the moment. In for that football. Umpire says play on now. That comes off the boot of Hayden Stagg. Straight down the middle of the ground. A good mark taken there by Matt Suckling. About 50 metres out. Directly in front. Kicking to the Jimbrook end here at the kennel. Going back long enough to you can kick him from there. It's about... Oh, he's got to kick at 50 though, I'd say. Are they 50 metre, Archie? No, but by the time he kicks it, no, I'd say to about 25. But Suckling, <laughs> big, long right foot kick distance. Never an issue. But slightly right of centre goes through for the first behind of the afternoon. 1 1 7. Nary. And they lead one and one straight six. We've been going five and a half minutes, quarter number one. Yeah, so they want to play on quickly to the scoreboard side. And now they go long down the line. You know, in the box seat there is Nary, but it comes off their hands. Getting in underneath it, fighting for the ball is Nary again. But uh, unable to get it out and to a teammate. So we're going to see a ball up on the other side wing. Good tap down there in front. Players unable to take it cleanly out of the contest. There's a kick off the ground here, and it's gone full. out of bounds on the full. So it'll be uh, Miller from Nary taking the resulting free kick. And he kicks it back. Finds a teammate deep. Now switching it across to Zietzman. Zietzman now has got uh, Toner on short. And a player inboard. It's Muterman out. And they're moving it quickly and decisively here, Nary. Just trying to work out some room and now they can try and split the middle because they've got a few players open there. It's in the hands of Tom Miller. He kicks it long to the leading Howe. Comes off his hands and Wanden. And he seemed to have the crummers here. Bang. Down the ground? No. No, not quite. And taking that relieving mark for uh, Wanden is Bailey. Let's see if you can get him a score, Liam. Uh, Liam. Bailey's kicked down the line. Went through the hands of Hurst, who I thought might have had enough control of it, but the uh, umpire didn't think so, and it was uh, eventually tapped over the line. I have called through the first two goals of the game, so anything is possible. Throw, lucky charm. throw in on the outer side. Working his way to get the tap there was Benson of Nary Warren. It comes to ground. Oof. Gets to Cody, who right. was met just a little bit too crudely, and will get the free kick. So the skipper on the defensive side of his 50. We'll play on, do a little bit of a dance around Hurst. Kick was just a little bit too hot there, and it's been touched over the line for a throw in. Tangled himself up a bit there, Trent Cody. We'll try again, in it goes. That throw in that time favoured Chamberlain a little bit more, but it's going to come straight out the back through Miller. Miller, little kick short was good. They can get a little bit of run and carry here, although the kick went towards goal and it went across the face. Be nice if you can turn around, we'll be able to tell who kicked that. But uh, in the meantime, Wanden will it's Daniel Toner, Daniel Toner, reload Boys. from the back line. It's always the thing about Wanden, it's a couple of kicks and you're down in your forward line. Hines went short to a good effect, too. And then they bring it back towards the middle. And this is Bailey again. Hops to go to the Coach's box side, where it's met by a few fists, and it tumbles its way towards the boundary line for a throw in. So we've been going eight and a half minutes at the moment. One, two, eight. Nary Warren leading one and one goal straight. We'll get some scores from around town as well. We'll get the uh, secretary there, Pretzel, to get a few on his phone very, very soon. The throw in again favours the Nary Warren side. Got a bit of a hook on his old throw in there, the boundary umpire. Just throwing it out underneath the back was Brzezzi for Wanden, finally get the kick out, they do, came to the half forward line, oh, oh, one-handed one mark, one mark and he's actually given a free kick away for Holden, he wouldn't be too happy about that, and it's Hodgett with it, and it's Patty on the left leg, kicks it straight, and the man on the mark didn't go back far enough, picking it up there was Harrison Byrne of Wanden, but that uh, was taken off and good smother by Molino, a lot of players there in the black and white jumpers, oh, a bit of it going through there, got to be very, very careful, Pat with there on Hodgett. and it's going to be a ball up, just off the ball, just keep a bit of a watch, it's happening over there, Ball up. They're in the forward uh, forward arc there for Wanton at the moment. Kicking to the Clegg Road, end of the ground. Good little tackle. No, he missed a tackle, did That's on Van Duren. And it's going to be incorrect disposal holding the footy with it, whichever way you like. And a free kick there going the way of Wanton. 
Not sure who's got that out there, Liam. It's uh, keeping an eye on the vision for you, Leo. We'll watch him in a minute. Forward pocket, deep in that forward pocket, having a shot on goal. Off the mark. And the mark's been taken, so we'll just give that off as a good pass. And this it off well, but another very tight angle here. And the free kick or mark there taken by Clinton Johnson. Distance now not an issue. Going to have to run around a bit and kick a bit of a check side. Round he goes and has, I think, put that through. He certainly has. And another goal on the board there to the Doggies. They go to two straight 12. You're not the solitary goal kicker now, we're out, Liam. Ten minutes gone, one, two, eight. Uh, Nary Warren, we've been going uh, 10 minutes into the first quarter. Got anything happening around town, uh, Pretzel? Yeah, we're Alec off to a quick start against the uh, opposing Tigers of Upway to Coma. They're 2 2 14 to Upway is yet to score. Pakenham are 1 2 8 at home, taking on Alina Fernie Creek, who are 2 3 15. And Mombolk at home in those uh, lots of Premiership unions, they'll be happy with a good start. They're 3 2 20, leading Man Evelyn two behinds. Thank you, just, just Cameron. For you to come back, uh, yeah. William. It's back now. That's the thing. It goes down Clegg Road and you've got to go down to Seville and pick it up. Yeah, the bus probably runs over it. Too, <laughs> down towards Warburton as it's back in the middle now. Nice long throw in the air. Benson's still on the ruck that time. And you pretty much just uh, ball it up once again this time on about a good length here on the cricket pitch. Take two. Once again, Benson starting to get a little bit of early supremacy in the ruck. Whoop. And a little bit of diving on the footy there potentially. It eventually comes out the back. Didn't really have it there, did Stag. But nonetheless, Wand didn't come away with it to centre half forward. It bounced in front of Hodgett. Did himself no favours. They go inside forward 50 here. Trying to tap it to his advantage was Burn. And now the Magpies might be out on the broadcast side. You're about to hear it come through RFX, Mike. That's just done a little bit too much before Josh Tonner could get there in time and got out of bounds for a throw in. Cameron, what have you got? Ah, I've got some Div 1 scores where Berwick Springs have got a good lead to start off with their 4-3-27 leading Belgrave, one straight goal six. Emerald are 4-2-26, four, uh, four, sorry. Leading Hills will get to score. And Jembrook, 3-2-20, uh, leading Yarra Glen, three straight goals. Oh, close game down there up the uh, home of the Brookers. Nice little tap out once again. Chain of handles, finds its way around the narrow orange zone players. All oh, it's a bit too hot there. Suckling drop what he probably should have taken and the pressure there of Wandon. But uh, there's been about 28 handles. The first kick came out there by the skipper and Trent Cady of Nary Warren. Puts it at the top of the lines there. Roved nicely by James of Wandon. Gave across to a teammate. Burn gets it now. Back into the centre of the ground. Must mark this. Can't hang on to that. Very hard to do so as Mutz says, but goes into the forward 50. Oh, oh, slipping over there. Unfortunately, it was Wandon and a shot on goal there by Howe. Probably should have kicked it through rather than dribbling it through. And through for a behind. 1-3-9, Nary. Two straight, Wandon. We've been going 12 and a half minutes now. Quarter number one. You can't see it over there, Pretzel. No, I can't. Sorry. A little kick around the corner. Paddy Brazuzzi takes the mark. Right in front of this beautiful new pavilion here at the kennel. Comes down the uh, broadcast side of the ground. Right centre wing. A lot of players oh. there. Oh, big leap. That couldn't be taken. Molino went to get it. But was absolutely robbed of it there by his mate there in Harrison Byrne. Gives it to Molino now. A bit of a throw back to Byrne. On the right foot, has a shot at goal, just drifts right across the face. And sneaks through for another behind there to Wandon. He had a bit more time there. I Burn. think he did. 2 1 13. Just drifts across, always has. 1 3 9 Nary. So we've got a uh, four point ball game in the way of. Sorry, we are doing 20 things at once. No, right. no, Richardson's got it off to a suckling. Thought you were better than that. Yeah, another handball off. So they're on the forward side of centre already. Bit of a Whoop. throw out of the pack there, but a push in the back has been paid an advantage as well. So it's a shot on goal here from Nary up towards the goal line. It's punched uh, beautifully there by Hines out of bounds for a boundary throw in deep in. Nary Warren's attacking zone as I can uh, let you know a Div 2 score update with Powtown 4-2-26 leading Yarra Junction 2-4-16 and Warburton and Milgrove are 4-2-26 leading Alexandra 2-1-13 Some close games around town, Liam The ball back into play, ball went out the back of the two ruckmen, fresh air shot off the ground from the Wandon play was to no effect, it comes back to the middle of the ground where it was controlled by Nary who slammed the ball inside 40 once again, oh that would have been a strong mark there Comes to ground, still a little bit winded as the uh, Nary player as the ball went out in front of Dawson Muir that time and went out of bounds for a throw in eventually. That was big. Jakey Richardson who yeah. went up for that mark there. He just yeah. couldn't quite bring it down to ground. Bent side on solidly and then landed heavily as well. And he didn't do. Uh, waste the ground contest. is relatively soft up that end of the ground. It's slushy. How in the ruck that time for Nary Warren. I'll give it to him on a point score. 
Bobbling around their half forward line here for Nari, and it'll find the sanctuary of the boundary line once again. 14 and a half, nearly 15 minutes gone here in the first, where it's 2 1 to 1 3. We go again, third try. Howe got the tap, goes out the back to Bader. Free kick this time for a little bit too high, and it'll go the way of Suckling. Oh, a bit lucky to get that, really, I think he. Sort of duck first and try to brush off a tackler. He's just uh, made the tackle go a little bit high. Seen a little bit of the footy early too. Has Suckling and I think he's going to have a go. Oh, why not? He made the distance before, he just went slightly right, so uh, knows where to put it this time. Suckling's approach. And he's kicked that left, I think. Yeah, just oh, a little bit one, too left. Yeah, next one will be right. Yep. So we uh, hook that, slice the first, hook the second. Third will be right there in the middle. They can come out of here now, want them if they want to, and they can play on. I do see right there in front of the scoreboard, which shows a 13-9 advantage to Wandon, but an errant kick. Yeah, a bit of a waste straight that one. hand there to Patworth, took an easy uncontested mark, so now he's straight back from whence it came, front of the scoreboard. Johnny Ladner went up there with the fist and knocked it down to the ground. Here's an opportunity, Hamble errant has landed in the hands of Wandon's Garner, and they try to get out of defence quickly again. Unfortunately, oh no, overrun there. Here's a chance now for Wandon. Goes in about the middle of the ground, but there's a lot of narry players there. Vernon there also for Wandon. Picked up there, given out by Miller of Nary. Long kick there into the centre. Oh, 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 big leap over the top. Callahan couldn't hang on to it there for Nary Warren. Would have been a beauty in front of the crowd here at Wandon. And it's been shoveled along the ground. It's gone out of bounds for a throw in in the forward pocket. You can hear the crowd just getting as a bit of pushy, pushy shove, shove takes place. And I think they've done their formal introductions and they've split up and it's going to be eight to throw in. Yeah, it is indeed in front of the people here in the magnificent facilities here that are only about a year old now. Just waiting for ruck nominations here before the boundary umpire can get it going again. Yep, Leo's nominated. Oh, There's that one. Shit makes me giggle, that. Comes out the back before Mutsayers could really get a hand to it. Little tumbler from Sowies towards goal. Puts Daniel Toner under a little bit of pressure. That he was wrapped up quickly. Mud there. Yeah. Yum. Here's your lunch. <laughs> up we go again. Going a little bit early, but still getting the hit out was Mutsay. Is that oh, time? Soccer up the ground. Oh, Mutima. Curdy Mutima. The man that's more than likely leading league best and fairest at the moment. Ooh, 38 disposals a game. Has kicked the second goal of the afternoon for Nari Warren there, 2 3 15. And they're now leading London, 2 1 13. 17 a bit minutes gone, quarter number one. Yeah, good bit of soccer skills there, shown by the big fella. Didn't bother to pick it up, Kurt, and uh, on the right foot just snuck it through. And saw a bit of that happening in the Sydney game last night, too. A bit of soccering along the ground, too. Why not? Good old wet weather footy. Nice little tap out. This time, Will Howe on the ruck for Nari. Follows it up quite well as well. Gets it on the left foot from a teammate there in Miller into that forward pocket. Good centre clearance and good bit of play there by Nari. And another shot on goal coming by the way of Mitchell Tonner. Got to be so careful there, Preds. We've got Tonners and Toners. And, and there's more coming through, I'm uh, reliably informed. <laughs> Is that informed. right? Yep. Must be printing them off there, the Toners. <laughs> coming in from about 20 metres out. Pretty much directly in front from that angle there. Mitchell Tonner makes absolutely no mistake. He kicks his first goal, the third. On the ball here to the Pies, late in his first quarter. They go to 3-3-21, leading one and 2-1-13, 18 gone. And they just don't want him to get a sniff because they very, very can score very, very quickly, the Magpies. And they just got to maybe, are they going to run one behind the play or not? I'm not quite sure. No, they haven't done it just yet. yet. Speaking of scoring quickly, our highest scoring venue is leading the way again. Uh, Powertown, Powertown, a 5-2-32, leading junction, 4-4-28. There you go, nine goals kicked in his first quarter already, Liam. Ball back in the middle. It's gone up and it's come out to the broadcast side more or less. Spun in a little bit of an interesting tackle of the sorts with Callahan, and we'll have a second take here. Be careful those slingy tackles, don't we? Don't like them anymore. Whoa! Up we go Huge again. That's, yeah, that's a block that time against Benson. No good complaining about it. That's oh, he's kicked the ground again. Oh, it kick nearly came well. to us. It was well, picked, well read by Van Duren. Oh, good boy. Yep. Um, yep, you can hear that, the effects, Mike. Free kick to Ladner. Oh. Kicks it back to the middle. The fist was probably more towards Wandon's advantage there because they gained more territory out of it than Nary. And now they'll get a free kick for too high this time to Tom Miller, who gave advantage. it off to Tom Toner. And downfield free kick here. Yeah, Cam's all over it. Could be on Keep here, on to be ones. completely honest. Um, yeah, a little bit of pushy shovey going on here as the play continues. There's another one. 
Jake Richardson that was. Yep, good fella. First of the afternoon for him, coming off seven saucy trials last week. And they have kicked three in a minute and a half here, wanting to go out to 4 3 20. That's what I said, didn't I? No, he said one. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> <laughs> they're, they're out there though, it's okay. 4 though. 3 27 now to 2 1 13. It's all good, mate. It's all good. It's amazing what caffeine can do to you. So, so come back to the centre of the ground. Or lack of. Uh, he's getting a bit willing towards this uh, latter stages of the first quarter, but one and uh, you know, hanging up there at the moment. They just don't want to uh, let this slip away too far. Can they get one before quarter time? It would be very handy. Nice little tap out there by how of uh, Nary Warren. It's going to be another ball up. Well, it's benching back in Rucker, beg your pardon. They're flipping around pretty quick. Up they go once again. Ruckman just crashed into it. Benson got it to Cody. Oh, how quick was that? Straight in the hands of Munima. Into the goal square she goes over the back of the pack. No one can hang on to the ball. Wandon got numbers back there at the moment, but put themselves under a lot of pressure. Just throwing it over the top of his head was Chapman. And it, oh, oh a bit high and a bit yep. crude. Yep. And that going to uh, go against Will Howe. And uh, just want to be a little bit careful there. And umpire Lee Walters right on the ball. Yep. In quickly. And the free kick going to go the way of Sammy Hodgett. Comes down the broadcast uh, flank. It's about 50 out now in front there. Nary from the sport by his own teammate was Callahan. Wandon tried to spill their way out. Little handball came out the side there from Van Duren. Tackled without the foot of the umpire now. Here a whistle blowing and it's going to go the way of Wandon. Azusa gets it. Played along with advantage. Roll 1-2 or we'll kicking oh. without even having a look where it went was Garner. So that's going to be turned over pretty quickly. It was just tapped further forward by Callahan on there. He was straight back to Wandon in the centre of the ground. A little handball over the top and hit, hit after the play was Atkins. Ooh. Umpire didn't see that. ladman has got her at the moment. Atkins is still down. And I thought he got hit a little bit high. Brody Atkins, and that uh, being pinged at Ladner with holding the ball, and it's going to go now to Patworth, goes Latry towards the coach's box on the outer side, looking for a teammate in Zeichman, he picks it up and goes backwards to go forwards, back into the centre corridor, and there's plenty of magpies as Dempster takes the mark. Oh. He does, he, 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 <laughs> What's he, that? He, bounced, he bounced it, Leo. He did, <laughs> did he mean to? Yeah, so the kick up forward's been intercepted here by Hines, he's got plenty of players of his team uh, around him, but... Uh, uh, doesn't use the handballs to work it forward. Gets a kick up towards the wing where they do use the handballs and those numbers now. Kick towards, uh, it's a two on two here in the four line. It's off the hands there of um, Byrne out the back. He's able to pick it out now and get a handball off to a player That's running Atkins. through who's had a shot at goal and gone across the face. He's recovered. Quite well throwing. They actually worked that out all right because uh, Nary had the extra numbers there arriving on the scene quicker than uh, Wannan, but uh, Byrne was able to hold it up enough to get it off. To a teammate good to coming Brody. through in that yeah. secondary wave. Yeah, Brody Atkins, good to see he was up and about. He, could have, he tried to kick a check side, just went straight out, unfortunately. He tried for to him. imitate Tommy Molino. Only Tommy Molino can, can do that. Yeah, so a bit unlucky there, but uh, he did cop a beauty before, but he's up and about, which is good to see. So it's deep in the forward pocket, and the footage has gone down to several once again, and it's just been brought back on the 634 bus. North, Mel uh, North Melbourne out by 19 points, Leo. Yeah, no, never in doubt. Danger game for Colin. Never in doubt. Danger game. Never in doubt. So throw in. Just going to sign him into a five-year contract, Dave Noble, over the back, taking it out of the ruck and having a quick ping at the goals. There was out of bounds. Johnson. He's missed everything and it's gone out of bounds for a throw-in. So uh, let's hope they can uh, put up a good show there, the Kangaroos. No one wants to see uh, this sort of thing happening. At least the ball yours truly. Forward pocket throwing. Oh, it's flat and hard and rotten in the corridor as well. Powell almost took that and would have been paid a mark in the reserves. Is that right, Liam? <laughs> yes. That's why he just lets it go now. On the check side there. And taking there a mark, go. Atkins. Yeah, oh, he plays on straight away. Oh. Why did you do that for, son? Oh, he wanted to get it over. Oh, he? I don't know. Harris and uh, well, Burns got it. Gives it back to Atkins. There's another go this time. Puts it up pretty high. Right inside out, left to front, left foot torpedo, that was. Oh, what did he play on for? Silly no, boy. 2-2, no. 14, rush of blood. Uh, uh, Wandon, 4-3. 27. Now we've been going 24 minutes just about in quarter number one. You can see from your Pretz. Yeah, I can. Just a chip kick in, Leo. It was all one right, of your favourites. We've got the old one-two and they kick it up now onto the wing and in front of the commentary position where it comes off hands and out of bounds where you guys can take it. Well, Liam yeah, can yeah, see well. around the corner. He's got that right angled vision. Is that right, Liam, with us? I think you're just making up things now. You've got Leo. the fearless fly glasses on with the big O on the side. Yeah, Oakley, yeah. Oh, jeez, oh, that's a... Yeah, it's yeah, over flat, there as well. It's, it's, like a beauty. A, it's like a flat six. Yeah, it's Ball comes out the back to oh, Mutt Sayers. Stolen away, Mutima. Handball's good to Gentilly. 
who sends one high and long, hug, hugging the boundary line, getting front position and juggling it. Guess who? Richardson. Deep in the pocket. He'll go back and have a shot in front of the people. He's already kicked one this afternoon. Good spot to kick from here, actually, because the goals actually face us a little bit, Liam, as you can see. It yeah. uh, opens up a bit and does drift a little bit uh, left to right. So Richardson on his approach from about 45, I'm going to say. Kick is on the way. Looks all right off the boot, but just fading left late. And it should come off hand, you'd think. But instead, it's right in the goal square. And this is a dangerous, dangerous place to be if you're a fan of the Wandon Bulldogs. As it's up in the air. Fisted forward, just trying to relieve a little bit of territory there. Tom Miller got to the footy first. He was wrapped up straight away. I had absolutely no hope of getting rid of it. We'll have a, another ball up. And she's up again straight oh, away. Richardson. Benson, I think that was. No, it's Richard there. Oh, Out of the ruck. Was it Richardson? We'll keep an eye. Got him. So it went through for a behind, did it? Yep. yep it was and it was the big fella in Richardson. Yep. Good call, Pretzel. Should never doubt you. 4 4 28 now. Uh, uh, Nary 2 2 14. Wandon 25 gone. The kick and stake in place. And there was a big long whistle there. There's a 25 metre penalty. No, no, it was says no. Goes back to Brazil. Right down the middle back. of the ground. Okay, he did that as well. Over everybody's head. Goes well into that forward uh, flank area near the 40 metre arc. And it's gone out of bounds for a throw. And so it was a good transition there by the doggies. 26 minutes gone. And uh, they'd love to get a goal just here on quarter time. Sun shining brightly now. Lucky you parked the bus on this side of the uh, fence here, Pretz. Sun's behind us now. In we go. Jason used to hate that, the sun in his eyes. Little kick off the ground. Oh, it was tackled out. The footy there on fire just lets it go. And I thought it could have been to Foley, but they uh, just play it on. We want them to pick it up. The old one, too. Handball this time came out there by Dawson Miller. Muir, ra rather. And it's gone out of front. bound. And it's gone out of bounds. Centre wing. Outside the ground, where the coaches' boxes are today. Good to see they haven't got little tents up anymore. Of course, the other one's got blown away in a big storm. I think they're halfway towards Jembrook by now. Umpire lets it play out. It's a great play. Everything ends up in Jembrook, Liam. You should know that. Yep. All Good tackle away by all the stuff too high. Downhill there. <laughs> <laughs> it's got to go back up the hill to get the Jembrook. Don't you know our song? Up on the hill. Short pass now, and they play on straight away. Suckling got oh, a hand left with two mate, yips. and got the big, long, wobbly old punt kick up there. And that's a good mark taken over there by Will Al. Well, how we just took it on his chest. And he's going to find himself about 30 metres out. Bit of 45 degree angle in front of the scoreboard. Shows now it's 22. one goal behind. And one, hey, we're goal. not behind. We're not wrong. No, uh, no we're not wrong. 14-28, that's correct, isn't it? Oh, no, there we go behind there. Here we go, on the scoreboard. We fixed that. We're never wrong, Pretzel. So, how coming in off the boot. Low, hard, direct, straight over the goal up by Z. And uh, Brendan Small says that's another goal. And that didn't really sit well, the uh, one, and they turned it's it over. Brendan I think you'll find that Sarah Fishley. Is that, is that, is that Bishley <laughs> over there? Oh. They haven't got me goggles on. Sorry, Just Sarah. Just because smaller than him, does it? Well, he, well, Brendan's small. He's appropriately named, isn't he? <laughs> no. <laughs> Leo hasn't had a good day so far. I've been told off three times before we got on air, wasn't it, uh, Leo? <laughs> three times within the first minute. <laughs> it was, too. <laughs> having a good day. Can't hear Leo. There we go. Yeah, anyway. Back in the air, Benson hit out, went out the back. Intelligent hit out, it has to be. It was uh, good, that one, I couldn't hear you. Yeah, it was good. Oh, yeah, aren't you? Like, funny. Mutimus kick smothered off the boot. Oh, lovely and turn. Spinning himself out of trouble was Van Duren. Did it quite nicely, has to be said. I'm going to go forward here again. Mutima was game tackle there that time. And it'll be a ball up. So yeah, good passage of pressure there by Alinda, uh, Wondon. Uh, oh, yeah, he's had a slip of the tongue too. Well, Linda aren't here. By a, by a lot, lot, lot wonder. Yeah. Uh, ball up. But Udemy's tackle stuck nicely, but that won't be rewarded for holding the footy. That's what happens when I'm just reading the other scores. Going in yeah, my head. no. Rather than going on the ground. Why the ground. have that problem too? If I try and do two things at once, Pretz is hopeless. Yeah. Up she goes again. It's called being a man, I think. Benson ultimately Ooh. went up unopposed there that time, got the tap down, although Wondon are going to come away with the footy here this time. Well, he's, kicked it the wrong way. he's kicked it backwards. <laughs> now, this could be dangerous. Gentil, uh, Gentilly centres oh, one beautifully. Kick. God, that's good footy there from the Magpies. Well, how unlucky there was Van Duren. He went to kick it towards the Wondon goal and he got flipped. And as he's kicked it, he's been flipped upside down. The ball went the wrong way. And just to add, this is Hayden Stair. Go on, Leo. No, I just uh, I think that's a bit stiff. So that's just taking a few metres off his metres gained. It was unfortunate. 
got into the argument about where you can stand here. Yeah, well, there's, there's, there's players from both sides right next to each other, so... Yeah. Staggs kicks on the way. Is it going to hold its line? You bet it does. Goes through the net about halfway up. And that's now four in a row for the Magpies. And they're starting to... Oh, boy, it's starting to get a little bit dangerous already. 6-4-40 to 2-2-14. 29, nearly 30 minutes gone, first quarter. Let me oh. just say, uh, goal umpire Sarah officially was right in the right spot to see that goal as well. She was. Did a, did a great job. And now, uh, one, one of them just got to hold their nerves here and not drop their heads because they're not uh, fully out of the contested contest here. Not just yet, but they certainly wouldn't want to let one go anymore. So, uh, being tackled straight away, Molino there was uh, never going to get out of that suckling tackle. tackle. And so, basically still in centre circle. On a full length too. Yeah, with umpire Andrew uh, Thomas, of course, we'll mention the cricket later on. The Aussie's not going too bad. Secondary tap out there went with a bit of a swoosh there by Dawson Muir. He missed everything. Unfortunately for Wanda, the kick's been marked at centre-half back and Wanda can clear once again. Over the top they go, Gentilly takes an uncontested mark, centre wing. Right in front of our broadcast van. They can go just a little bit further on and uh, just running along nicely, picking up there's Tommy Toner. Tom Toner, right in front of us in the flashy red boots. Plays on now, sends a thumping right foot down the line. Falls between three, nearly getting control of the footy there. That time was Daniel Toner. And it will find the sanctuary of the boundary line for a throw in where the scoreboard reads 40 to 14, nearly 31 gone for the first quarter. What's happening around town, Prince? Anything good? Uh, well, up by Kit Girl, it's 139 to Worrielic, 2315. Uh, Packenham at 2719 to Alinda Fernie Creek, 4327. Just a note there, the boundary umpire not, not throwing the ball in there where he did call out of bounds, so it might be a problem with that young lad's shoulder. And so they come away with it here. Coming in from the side there was Tom Toner to affect it. And he centres the ball. He wants a bit of tunnelling there, I thought. Comes to ground. Got to be careful here, the dogs, to not let one go. And that's a good decision. Hold the footy. Free kick to Wandon and specifically Garner. Garner goes short. Gee, there's a bit of spice in this one. You can just hear it. Here's Black. Wanted to go, but stopped. Well, another whistle yeah. play here, boys, in yeah, the middle. Told you, and, told you there's uh, some Lee spice Wallace in this. Right on top of it. Not only is he given a free kick, he's given a 25 metre penalty. I don't think uh, it's no, going to make much difference because it's just, just, just too far out. Centre, so you wouldn't, uh, uh, this is where you need a 50 metre penalty uh, and, a, and a really yep. peed off umpire because you end up in a goal square because uh, you guys used to love giving 50 metre penalties. But uh, just watching how these two sides are just going to be separating each other and uh, going into individual huddles. Up at Powtown, it's a Powley, the home side, 11 3 69, accurate there, leading Yarra Junction at 6 4 40, and Warby uh, 6 5 41, leading Alexandra 5 4 34, Liam. Underway here in the second quarter. Thank you very much, Cameron. Quality work by you, as always. Ball scraps its way to pretty much the broadcast side here. Trying to get proper hands on the footy here. This time was Dawson Muir. Couldn't quite do so. Here's Mutimer. Got the hands free to Tom Miller, who kicks inside forward 50. Who's going to fly? Richardson did. Comes to ground. Snap towards goal. Is a tumbler. Ooh. And it's gone across the face. Sorry. Through the uh, services of Riley Sowies. And they score first here in the second quarter. 6 5 41, narrow 30 seconds that took. 2 2 14 are uh, a one. It's a quick one. scoring end. It is indeed. Going downhill there towards the Clegg Road side. The ground, big long kick, makes the centre of the ground. Umpire lets him play on Paddy Brazil. He's jumped left, jumped right, and did a bit of the uh, hokey poke and kicked it out wide. And unfortunately for him, no one there. And Sorosinski takes an uncontested mark on the half of that flank. Member side of the ground comes down the broadcast side now, centre wing. Out the back they go, big long punch on there. And, um, I mean on the footy by the big fellow there, Richardson. Just tried to move the ball further forward. Gained another 10 metres for Nary, and it's been out of bounds, gone out of bounds for a throw in. So just uh, waiting for that footy to be returned. Reasonable crowd here today. I don't think Nary uh, have a huge following uh, when they travel away, Pretzel. A bit like Frio. Don't travel well. Throw in, centre wing. Nice little tap out by Howe. Yeah, you can pick the footy up. Oh, a bit of a throw out there, Cody. Had a bit of a fresh air shot. Wanda get the little handball out. The old one-two handball by Dawson Muir was smothered. Nary take hold of it once again. Now they're out in the open. The little handball across there by Tonner. No, oh, the I mean, it's caught. Direct disposal. Great tackle laid there by Johnny Latner. And gets a resulting free oh, kick. Worm burner. Worm burner, like Pretzel said there. Brzezzi picked it up. Good enough to get it. But tackle by a couple of 
Magpies and uh, in the end there was Joshua Tonner at it. And they can play on straight away now from about 50 metres out, but a short kick there by Bader. And that finds his teammate, and who's down there, Pretzel, just, oh, there's Brazuzzi, hope he gets up pretty quick. And the mark's been taken by Riley Sowies. He's about 30 metres out, directly in front, kicking to the Clegg Road, end of the ground. And, uh, geez, they uh, certainly hurt you when you turn it over, Pretz. Yes. I'm glad yeah, you're right. excited about that, Sowies. From oh, 30 metres out, on the left foot. Keep an eye on oh, come off the, Yeah, keep an eye on him, so come off the side of his boot there. So he's kicked the two behinds there, Riley Sowies. And uh, off the hook there, Wandon a little bit, 6-6-42. Nary, lead Wandon, 2-2-14. We've been going two and a half, quarter number two. Yeah, trainer's checked him out, and uh, he's back now, manning up. Uh, Good. Meet him up. Yeah, so. him get hurt. yeah, from the kick in. Oh, oh. Uh, play on. Oh, oh. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and uh, kick it long until the ball's the ring, but it's Benson, the intercept mark here for Nary. Goes on his left, got a player out there in the pocket, takes the mark, Josh Latonna looks in, board, overshoots the target. Wanda could be away here, straight through the centre. Oh. Oh, and Molino and Brazizi didn't talk, and uh, both spoiled each other, and now it's back in the hands of Nari. And there's going to be a holding or a push free kick here. Go the way of the Tona. He's got Cody on the half forward flank. That'd be his best uh, to try and get it from there. Being told to have a shot. We've got a perfect uh, angle for this one, Leo. Certainly have, so, uh, so it's Captain Cody. Captain Cody. Captain Cody. Captain Cody. Captain Cody. Oh, and he's gone short. Oh. No one, man. That's no. poor. That's that's poor that, is, that is poor, Manning. Oh, he just walked poor straight defense. past Paddy Brzezzi's there, and he just watched him walk into yep. the forward area there. And, and Kurt kicking. Munema. Well, they he's think well he's within scoring kick. distance. Oh, of course he is. You know, he, oh, he won't kick at him. He's going to have a shot. Well, put, you know put it what? In the book. Put in the book? Yeah, I reckon put it in the book. Okay. Uh, no, he's got those, uh, hasn't got the leather boots on. He's got the synthetics. Anything could happen with a yellow ball here. <laughs> See. I'm a fan of leather on leather, Leo. Okay. Ooh. Told you. He's only just snuck it in, boys, but he's got there. He certainly has. It's his and second uh, of the afternoon. Something that you've got to tell us there, Pretzel, but it's leather on leather. I'm not quite sure what's no, going the on there. Leather footy boots. Much prefer those over the synthetic ones. Onto a leather ball, Leo. Can you get synthetic footy boots? They used to have little plastic boots when I was a little kid, back in 1832. But <laughs> 7 6 48 now, uh, Nary. 2 2 14 wand, and that's uh, four and a half gone. It's very hard to get traditional, actual footy leather boots, footy boots, Leo. They're all these soccer style ones. Yeah, I know. They're, they, they are basically designed for. Uh, Soccer and uh, very low cut, and uh, even some of the bow boys in the AFL they have boots now, they've got no laces, Pretzel. They pull on like uh, wetsuit material and is, they just slide on. Is that because they no can't tie laces, laces Leo? Well, they can't. Like so, the little, bo little, little boys or girls who are still uh, learning things in life, you, you yeah. can't tie well, their laces. Well, they invented Velcro and they put the end of laces, but these <laughs> new footy boots have zero laces, they just slip on like a pair of slippers. I'm by Lee Walters, throws it up in the air. Bofrock can get a bit of a tap out there. Who can get it out the centre of the ground? Nice little handball. It came out there by Garner to a teammate. Kicking it around the corner. Did it quite well was Van Duren. Goes in front of that scoreboard uh, over there on the outer side of the ground and trickles out of bounds for a throw in. Been going five minutes. It's 47 leads. A 14. It's 48 in actual fact. The scoreboard's behind once again. Uh, it used to be much better when it was a manual one, but now it's one of those electronic type things. Now yeah, all alone in the ruck. The ruck just taps it straight out in front of him. He's going to close to that boundary line. Is that going to be delivered? Oh, it's been paid. Oh, my Lord. We've oh, Lee Walters delivered. Oh, he must have watched the tally last night. It's been very obvious. Oh, well, it was, but uh, pretty well, harsh. There you go. It? There you go, Liam. Yep. Uh, Nary Warren, play oh, on from the deliberate kick. free kick. That's a thumping oh. ball. Comes out oh, the back. They do have numbers take back. here. <laughs> Dawson Muir, the, uh, the hyphen, had to fumble to pick it up cleanly. He's kicked down the line to a two-on-one that favours Nary Warren, puts his teammate under a little bit of pressure. An argument for a legal disposal, potentially. Dogs starting to swarm in numbers. Handball came from Suckling. Suckling will get it back from Miller, and Suckling has just put that into row D. If there was rows here. It's right in front of us here. So we're just going to get that footy. We're no, none of us can see it's behind the broadcast van at the moment. Six eight three buses just send it down to. Uh, I, just know, I just know exactly where it went. I to went Yarra to Junction. Where, that way. I went to where all the under uh, the Wandon under 18 and 19s normally are there. Yeah, they, they don't have a side this year. So no, well, they, they used to have a truck. I think I may have pinched that and taken off. I'm not sure what's happening out here. Uh, you keep fiddling with that. 
Here yeah, around the grounds, uh, up by Tacoma, around these three points behind on Wurri Alec into the second quarter. Uh, Belinda Ferny Creek kicked a couple of goals there, 20 points up on Packenham now, and Mombok still hold a 21 point lead over Mount Evelyn. Okay. As the ball seems to be back in hand. Well, it is back in hand from somewhere. Yeah. Ooh. So <laughs> That's kicked a little bit too close. We're inside. We're inside. <laughs> <laughs> uh, honestly, Liam is just almost going to have to change his pants after that, so obviously didn't play a lot of footy. Oh, Ladner to put it in the high. forward pocket and there's a high, high tackle. Yeah. He ducked behind me. I had to shepherd him out there and the foot is outside, Prince. He kicked it from nearly where our little <laughs> canopy is. <laughs> well, it's not going to hurt you. Just oh, get the bejesus oh. out of it. <laughs> anyway, everyone, Ladner just gets overrun from the football. Back in front of us here in broadcast fan, trying to pick it up three or four times for Skirk oh, Unima. Hell did well there. there. Plenty of numbers for Nary. A little short kick. Oh, is it kept in place? Cody's taking the mark. And it was kicked out there by Sorosinski. Plays on straight away, this Cody. Goes right, now has to kick it with his left, comes off a bit of an angle, and it's and gone out of bounds on the full. Close, no. Oh, I Just hit the, hit the line, Liam. Oh, I don't know about that. James uh, did a terrific job. I'm going to watch this on our... Oh, I reckon it was out in the full, but never mind. Umpire's in a better position. Pretzel, can you see it? Hills will have hit the scoreboard, Leo. What they with? are 1-1-7, one, one, oh, still trailing uh, Emerald 5-8-38. Also, I may have punched it. And Jembrook uh, are going well again, Leo. They're now 5 to 7 37 leading uh, Yarra Glen three straight goals as Mutimer is there, nearly uh, tackled without the ball there. As the ball's bobbling around, it's a little bit hard there as a trip, trip. has been paid here in the tackle. It's going to go to Ladner from Wandon. It chips out wide, half back line, finds a teammate, and they go up towards the wing here. Where Nary coming back well and spoiling, but uh, reading the crumbs Oops. well was. Wandering, getting a handball that wide, but uh, not cleanly. So it's in the hands of Nari now. Back over, they can do the one two and stream it forward. But that's a great, great tackle, tackle from behind. Wandering can relieve that uh, pressure on the half back line there. Yeah, it was a terrific tackle there. I'm not sure. It could have been James with it. I think it is too. And uh, it was a terrific well, tackle. Well, one or the other was a great tackle. Would have been Van Duren. Umpire lets it play, up, play on. Another yeah. free kick. Bottom of the pack, getting up last, but getting a free kick. Brady Atkins, good to see him up and about. Cop the beauty around the old scone there in the first quarter. Goes very, very short. Paddy Odgett. They need to uh, make something of this forward thrust here. They need it? the next goal. Well, trying to protect the footy here a bit. Oh, that could be a 25 metre penalty, could it? Jeez. Well, I thought he got him a bit late. Umpire said no. So, uh, is that Molino out? No, it's not Molino. No. It's a free kick or a mark. Take your pick. About 40 metres out from goal, kicking to the uh, Jembrook or Pavilion in at the ground here at the kennel. Going to have a shot. 47 leads 14 at the moment. Hop, skip, jump. Long kick down the ground. It's by the agency of uh, Ch Chase Black. Lands right in the goal square. No one there for Wanda. It was picked up and out there by Tonner. Really nice. Very close to Be careful here, Liam. Yeah, clever the ball's kick. just coming close <laughs> to the broadcast band once again. Give it the old one two. Oh, it's got to come off about two hands there. Short kick by Jackson Byrne. And I mean, very short and still come off two hands of the wand and it's gone out of bounds for a throw in. And yeah, there it goes. There's going to be a throw in. Just uh, missed Mitchell's uh, there in the finish. In it goes. Front position that time to Chamberlain. One has blown the whistle. Good ball up. Three. Close yeah. game to Warby. Only, they're only seven points up on uh, Alex. Okay, ball back up in the air. Black Pope. at first oh, possession. It's a free kick to Nary Warren and the skipper in Cody. Mutima switches play to Tonner. Yeah, now they're on. Right down the eye, diddle, diddle. Kick out in front of Howe was okay, but he had two to compete with. Now it's a free kick to Wandon. In their defensive half. They uh, go down the line once again, and that kick's been cut off again by Mitch Toner, who goes back to Cody. Cody goes down the line. Nicely done, too. That is Josh Toner. Centering ball. To no oh, one in each other. Three, yeah, Wanden players. The three Wanden players there. Ball comes to ground. It's eventually going to come out the back. So they've actually done this quite well. But they need a relieving kick. We well, couldn't handle his teammate. It was behind the goal line. It would have been a point. Jackson oh. Byrne had it. Gave it to a teammate. Oh, I think advantage. he got something for downfield. Yeah, it's going to go downfield. No advantage play. 
Yeah, we just heard that through the effects yeah, yeah, the, the players commenting themselves. Probably a fair oh, comment there from Clint Johnson. Action. Probably could have got the advantage there too. And, uh, oh, cost him a bit oh, if he had marked it, it would have been. But okay. So, something ball down the line. Good fist, good jump too from Sosinski. Free kick for a push in the back going the way of the dogs. Specifically to Byrne. Byrne plays on. That's hugging the boundary line a little bit too close, but touched over the line for a throw in. There's just some darker clouds start to hover over the Wandanoose Recreation Reserve. Yeah, just went over the top of Tommy Molina. Would have been a chess mark for most, but uh, <laughs> unfortunately for young Tommy. <laughs> yeah, it's for a chance. We're just a bit, uh, bit shy. So a throw in. Forward flank there. Can they get another bit of a foray out of this? Wanda on hands and knees. Tapping it along the ground to a stag of Nary Warren. Got it across to a teammate. The land bike. Ball by Tonner. Just now gives it to a teammate. Goes straight down the middle out. of the ground. We'll have to sit there and wait for the ball. Umpire says you can play it on. A little chip kick out there. Oh, crunch. No, had to wait for the football and Garner couldn't hang on to it. Now it's on the ground here at centre half forward. Is that a high tackle? I thought it could have been a bit of a high tackle out there on the Chapman. And Boy says no. Both players are just sitting on it. I'm going to ball it up centre half forward for Nary Warren. Taking it out of the air there and handballing it straight away with oh, Richard Jump. Nary Warren. Quick kick out of the pack. It went on its way. Oh, just on the half volley. A bit of a Yorker. It was well picked up by Mitchell Tonner. Go to a teammate and they go back into that forward 50. All oh, falling over in the time was Hodgett and picked up there and kicked around the corner. And they're doing it quite nice, and they kick another goal there. Do Nari? And is it that? Yeah, he's running back to the middle. Yeah, sorry, man. He's I got a three got, on his jump up. I just got a pole in front of me at the time when he kicked that football, but they, they just can't afford to fall over at the inappropriate time. And they're just waiting for that to be turned over. And I think it's, is it Beta? Is, I couldn't quite see. There it was, Beta. So, uh, kick that goal. And uh, eight goals, six now, 54. Uh, Nary 2 2 14. Haven't kicked the goal since the 10 minute mark of the first quarter. We've gone 14 into the second quarter. So, give, uh, give Cam a crack. I did, I did that. I said, Oh, good. I gave him a smack. Did you say smack? No, crack. Yeah, crack. Go. And Chamberlain into the ruck against House. So it's the, uh, the the alternate ruckman at the moment. Brazizi wins that out for uh, Wandon. Gets it over Van Duren. Van Duren to the lead. Just comes off hands. Good defence there by Nary. And we're going to see a boundary throw in in front of the school ball. Kicked a goal in 45 minutes of gameplay here, Wanda. What you doing, counting on your fingers there? <laughs> so it's Mutsayers against Howe on this occasion. Mutsayers butters up well and gets a handball inboard, but it's intercepted here by Nari. Ooh. That's a good tackle there by Byrne. He's uh, going to be rewarded for holding the ball, and uh, uh, like Nari it. don't like that. Advantage oh. here, maybe? No. Oh, well. It's going to come back to where it was. Didn't thought... need both umpires to go in there, sorry, Lee. No, I thought he reversed it for half a second, but no, just to control things a little bit awful lot of spice in this game but you know just that extra stoppage on play allows the Nary Warren players to get back here exactly they could cut it off too oh, just kicked it into the hole hoping for a leading forward in there but uh, what didn't eventuate there for wanted and clearing here is Nary out to Cody Cody right into the deep. middle. That's oh, a, a great little slip oh. attempt there by Byrne. And yeah, teammates slipping over, but picking up and getting it is uh, Garner, who's now found a leading forward in Atkinson. Atkins. And Leo will have to call this for me. Well, uh, Liam can see it as well. Atkins, oh, it's a low worm burner. He's just mm. kicked it right along the ground. Well, there's plenty of doggies there. Can be picked up and shared around about a handball comes out. An opportunity from 45. Another handball now, and here's an opportunity for Hodgett, and that's Patty. Puts it into the goal square. Should have kicked it over everyone's head. Picking it up there for Nary. Clearing the ball quite well as Sorosinski. Goes out towards the scoreboard side of the ground. But there's all London players there. They can play on through straight away. It's Van Duren with it on the left foot. Back to the goal square she goes. Oh, Plenty of black and white jumpers. Opposite. In fact, three of them went up. No one yep. can hang on to the mark. Oh, oh chick got a kick there by Mutsias, but it was smothered. And off go Nary once more. Down the uh, wing on the outer side of the ground, or scoreboard side of the ground, picked up there, and there's plenty of narrow jumpers. Handball galore. Beta gave it to a teammate. Over to Mutima. Straight down the middle of the ground, but that's, uh, of course, laid back there. Plenty of doggies. Chamberlain takes the mark. Yeah, they got numbers back, but they're just making it look so oh, damn kick, hard kick. at the moment. Uh, Wandon. Here's Cody. Sells a bit of candy. Eventually kicks it to the broadcast oh, side. One-on-one -on -one here. Yeah, thank much. you, Leo. I was careful. Callahan takes the mark. 
I was talking to the players to be careful. Oh, sorry. If you're ducking behind me again, yep. I can see that. Callahan's kick is fisted away. Callahan will get it again. Boundary line beats him. And he was wrapped up by James that time. So Wandon just making life look a little bit difficult at the moment with their four A's forward. Oh, he's got a nasty arm when he's just bang around. Boy, right there. Ball comes back in. You would he's think kinda... he was being held without it, and he was. As oh, hello, a little bit of uh, hostility to resumes between Ladner and Callahan. They're having a go at each other here. In the meantime, it's a free kick going to Wuri Wuri uh, I nearly said uh, Mitch Toner. Mr. Perfect just made a mistake. Coach, yeah. can you write that down? <laughs> Not Mr. Perfect, don't you? Oh, Jeez, it's giving me back a good thumping, dude. Uh, that's a good old pat on the back there. Keep going, Lou. You him up. Somebody was knocking on the door. we will kick inside forward 50. You go to the top of the square, actually. Gave it a red hot crack, and it's actually gone out of bounds for a throw in. So, Cam, I'll give it over to you. Yep, so uh, it is a bit of spice, like you mentioned earlier, Lou. And the uh, no quarter given, post untaken. So, 2-2-14. Uh, uh, Wandon, 8-6-54, Nary. Been going for what, nearly 18 minutes in this quarter. Bretswell, that's a long throw. He's thrown it over the centre corridor. <laughs> this is a little bit more height on those and a little bit less length. Oh, he's got a good arm on him. Probably plays down a fine leg in the cricket. Oh, there's a high tackle there. Free kick should be yeah, paid, went. I think it is, to uh, Chase Black. Went down low. Go, go, go. Chase it, chase it. So Blackie, as he's called, goes to the opposite back pocket. And just uh, sharing the ball around at the moment, but uh, they zone off well, don't they? Nary, the old one-two, straight back to Black. Can go along if he wants to. No, go oh. short. Puts his teammate on a lot of pressure. Black's got it once again. They've had a lot of possessions for going nowhere oh, at the get moment. It on your boat. He's run a long way. Puts it in the open spaces here. He's looking for Joshy James. Will it sit up for him? Hope it does. No, it doesn't. Tips it a little bit further on. Looking for uh, Harrison Byrne. Off the ground they go. They gain a few metres and That's come off the toes. Or oh, just landed on the line. Likely there for Denny Hurst. And it's going out of bounds. Ray throw in, Liam. So yep. Chapman's rolled his ankle in that last contest on that outer side there. Okay. Too. So he's just oh, yeah. hobbling all the way to the uh, wanted bench. The old, uh, he was a late in Hops for the team jump. today. Haven't scored this quarter. Wanted. Have a look at the crowd. They're all up, all up against the windows where the heaters are there. Yeah? Throw back in. Mutt Sayers. Don't blame him. So it wasn't what says it was Miller who slams one forward, opposing 29s oh, and deep. just holding his position. Yeah, he's a huge man, Richardson. Should go back and have a shot. He's directly in front to the uh, Clegg Road or the highway end here in Wandon. And this, for uh, if I'm not mistaken, it's for about five or six in a row here. Well, yeah, since the 10-minute uh, mark, it's been uh, basically, yeah, seven in a row. Richardson on his approach to the highway end. Kick is on the way. Is it holding its line? It will just. And he's kicked his second of the afternoon. There is Nary's ninth. And they go to 9 6 60. Wandon 2 2 14. We've entered time on. Second quarter, things might be starting to look a little bit grim, potentially. Well, what we said, they started well, didn't they? Wandon kicked a couple of goals in the first uh, 12 minutes of the game. And, uh, well, that's the last time they kicked a goal, the 10-minute mark of that first quarter. And basically since then, uh, the 12-minute mark, when uh, Narry kicked their first, they've kicked the next nine. So uh, no answers at the moment. Every time they've turned it over to Doggies, it's been a swarm of magpies. And they've just absolutely ran it down there. And the big bodies, like you saw then, Jake Richardson just put himself in front. Of his opponent, and he's just a big, big man. You can't get over him or around him. And when he holds his ground, well, it's very hard to uh, to combat. So it's back in the middle. And umpire Lee Walters throws it up in the air once again. Going in the ruck this time, Benson for Nary. In the ruck there is also Mutes for London. Gives a few inches away. Quick kick come out of the pack by Miller. Looking for his teammate there, trying to pick it up with Stag. Couldn't get the uh, ball uh, into his hands. Dempster also has got the footy umpire, says there's no uh, prior opportunity. And by Lee Walters says, I'll pull it up once again, just forward of centre for Nary. And to the Clegg Rogue again, quarter number two, up they go this time. Held his ground well, nice tap out with the left hand was Benson. Went to an opposition player there, but it was good tackle there late by Stagg. And the umpire says, I'm going to have to pull that up. And uh, just the bigger bodies at the moment of the Magpies is really starting to uh, tire out the... Uh, the young dogs at the moment. Goes in the air once again. Stag got a bit of a ball. Got a bit of a hit around the corner there and in front once again. Just let straight out from fullback Richardson. You can, nothing you could do about that at all. I think Mitch is at the back there, isn't it? Yeah. And yeah just, just leaving a whole 
whole huge area for them to lead into there. They need to get one or two to probably roll back in that situation to fill that hole. Yeah, you've got to get back and do it. So they've got uh, too many big bodies at the moment. Good looking kick off the boot once again. May have hooked that a little bit this time. And unfortunately for Nari, and good luck for Wanton. It's a behind there to Richardson. They go to nine goals, seven, 61. They leave Wanton 2 2, 14, 22 goal in quarter number two. So you're right there, Pretzel. They leave the hole and kick it into the hole. So uh, yep. rather than looking. And for he's a there, player, you, you can't get around him if he's got the front oh, position there. Oh, you cannot. No, it's just, big a, for that. Just, just a monster. Line, now, Warrior Alley could jump again on Upway here, even though they're inaccurate. They're 5 12 42, oh. leading Upway 4 4 28. 5-12. At half time, it's Alinda, 58, leading Packham, 26. Okay. There's a kick in that's happened there, and uh, I just marked it. Ooh, and a lot of Hines has, uh, yeah, kicked it out of bounds on the full. Light rain started the full here too, Jens. Yeah. Tom, Tom, slight Tom, bit of Tom, 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 Tom. Tona plays on. Slams it inside forward 50. Who's there to fly? It comes out the back and taken right. way too crudely. There is Sioes. And he'll go back and have a shot, you would imagine, from about 40 metres out. Yeah, he was taken too high. Did a nice little professional uh, way to get the high tackle there, I thought. Uh, Mombolk of 46, leading man out 18. Oh, a few uh, gaps up, opening up in a few games there. Pretzel, what's our close game? Uh, well, it's probably hopefully Div 2 again because it's not in Div 1. There are yep. uh, one sided affairs at this stage of the afternoon. So he's on his approach as Cam gets those up. The kick is on the way and it's held its line, and there's his first of the afternoon. Nary Warren's 10th, 10 7 67. Now they are Wandon 2 2 14. 23 and a half minutes gone, second quarter. Cameron? At half time, Warby have actually jumped out to a 19 point lead. They're 9 6 60, leading Alexandra 6 5 41. Uh, Powtown uh, 13 3 oh, 81, good kicking. leading Yarra Junction 6 6 42. 13 3, good kicking out there at the farm at the mill. It's, uh, as you say, it's a very, very uh, fast scoring ground out there. If you half time, Berwick Springs are 98, leading Belgrave 21. Emerald are 48, leading Hillsville 7. And into the third quarter, it is Jembrook Cock 2, 6 7 43, leading Yarra Glen at three straight goals as the ball okay. comes out of the centre, straight down at Narry Warren's forward line. Oh. Uh, with the relieving pressure there, Van Duren's got the ball. He's got a couple of runners out wide here through and finds Brazizi. Brazizi tries to thread the eye of the needle to the mid sayers, but kept, uh, getting the crumbs is Tommy Molino, Leo. He has indeed on the left foot, just puts it back in the centre corridor. Pretzel has an opportunity, unfortunately, no way through there for Garner and plenty of magpies. Up again, but uh, off the ground this time by Mutzers, and the umpire says, no, can't do that. And resulting free kick going to go the way of Nary Warren, and it's going to go in the back pocket. I thought it was going to go there to Papworth, but it goes across to a teammate. So a long kick back to centre wing, broadcast side the ground, marking over the back there was a Circa Rally, another late inclusion to the side. Circa Rally, always going into that forward pocket here to prevent. Look, it's a good kick and a good mark taken, but it's going to be a tough shot from out here. Well, that'd mark. be one of the favourite shots for after training, wouldn't it, Leo? Yeah, would be, I would right think. Right there in front of the rooms. Daniel Hurst with it. It's actually not a bad spot. Oh, he's given it off. Oh, he's given it to Brazizi. He was oh. under a lot of pressure. Had to kick it quickly around the corner. He's put it out on the full. And sometimes you just don't do that. You don't have to give to a bloke just because he's yelling at your name. And they were right on that with Nary. So an opportunity lost there to the dogs. The resulting free kick to Papworth. Went across goal. Wants to play on straight away. And they're just going to chip the ball around here now. Just going to deny Wandon to the footy. And it's going to be taking their time. Umpire says you can play on now. Man on the mark couldn't move. And there's a nice little old break down the outer side of the ground. Quick kick out there. And by uh, Burn, I think it might have been Harrison. The front on contact there without the footy. And uh, not too happy about it. Um, again. And there's a bit of poodle pulley shove shove. Seems to be the way of the world these days. There's uh, one good thing, no punches thrown. Just a bit of jumping, just yanking. And umpire says, play it on, why not? That's why you got the two umpires. So that uh, certainly breaks up play. Out in front, couldn't hang on to the mark, was Howell. Was knocked out of his hands. Umpire lets it play on. Howell missed the resulting handball coming back his way. Was good enough to go back and get it. We've got three players everywhere. Stagger at centre half forward. Ball's been kicked over his head. But there's plenty of black and white jumpers. The old one, two. Cody's got it. Gives it back to a teammate there. And on the left foot, this looks like Aiden Stag once again puts it top of the goal square. 
and there's another bit of pushy shove, shove, shove. Good strong mark taken by Sammy Hodgett. And it's going to be a 50, which is 25. They still yell out 50, don't they? Yeah. yeah. It takes a while to uh, unlearn. Oh, well, the, they never the, take advantage of it. They're unlearn. That's a good way. Pemble over the top. Wandham, can they kick a goal here? It's in the hands of Joshy James. Poor kick. Not Jesse, Joshy. Poor kick, as uh, Liam said. End up in the hands there of Tonna. The umpire just says, you can just take your time now, Nary. They all roll back. They've got switch players on every if they want to use them. Looking in the centre corridor. There's one of them now, Cody the skipper. Wants to play on straight away. Goes straight down the ground. Totally unattended there is Mutimer. Think you leave that man on his own, Pretz. 40 metres out. Pat Bruce, Pat Bruce Easy's in trouble off the bench here. Looks like okay. he was holding his hand for a moment. Oh, what's that? Long kick by Mutimer. Oh, he Push pushed his opponent out. Right in the middle of the back. Not going to get away with that out. Get away, everybody. Umpire Walt was very much in control. And uh, there's no doubt about that free kick whatsoever. You just can't push a bloke out in the marking contest. Pretzel? No, you can't. And the kick goes up the line. But, uh, nowhere near one of players. And uh, Nary have got this moving to Richardson. Richardson snap around the corner to the top of the goal square. How? Oh, he nearly could have uh, swallowed that one. Mutima gets the hands off here. And a shot on goal by Gentili. Gentili. Can't replica head. replicate what he did uh, a couple of years ago. He just uh, pops this one through for a bind on that occasion. Three out gone. 10 8 68. Nary 2 2 14 1 and haven't scored this particular quarter. Yeah, he should have kicked it over his head, Pretzel. And uh, that was just around the corner. Look at the zone set up here by Narrative Zone. Right up, they've got a 16-man zone pressing up. And that's going to be really hard here for Wandon to get through this. They're going to have to work their way to the zone and then run and kick it over if they can. So they'll probably need a short kick or a play on from fullback. And they're all zoning up in the middle. Uh, Wandon, they're crowding up through there. They're going to split either way, I would think. And you look up there, and all you can see is black and white stripes everywhere. Going to go short. That's what he's got. The only option they've got. They give away the short kick. Tommy Hines put it in there. And now they're in all sorts of bother. As I say, 16 man zone here by uh, Mary Warren. And there's just nothing to go to. As the siren does sound before half time, it's a scoreless quarter here to the dogs. Nary. They kicked a four goals four in that particular quarter. They go to 10 8 68. The other bloke was McRae. Zach McRae. Yeah. Well known. His job's gone. That, that's Ball. right. Uh, Pies can get Clarkson then. Is that okay. right? <laughs> Ball's back. Umpire Donald throws up near this time. Nary get a little tap out there and goes straight in the hands of Munima. Gets a little left foot scrubber kick out towards the centre wing. On the outer side of the ground. Good picked up. Johnny Ladner gets uh, tackled oh, straight away. Ball just bleeds oh. out. Ball went off the ground nice and hard. <laughs> so which Mew says, whack, that would have hurt too. <laughs> Umpire lets, lets him play on. Amble over the top. brazuzzi has got it. He's back out in the ground, Liam. So he must be OK. Yep. Long kicking at our forward line. Is that in the back? No, it's not. Over the top of the head. There it went. Of a Hurst couldn't hang on to it. That's gone out of bounds for a throw in. Yeah, lucky it went off hands out of bounds there. There was three narry players with no one near them. Yep. It, so was a, it was a four on one there, Leo. They do roll back very, very well. So good start so far to the doggies. All thrown back into play. Oh, he's got a good edge. Just good flat Front throw. position there for Benson, who got, got the fist down. Yeah. Mute him up. Handballs nicely. That was to Dempster, who sends one down the line. Falls out the back of a few. Fending off there was Hines. Eventually gets it off. They still hug the boundary line. Front position, Bruzizi. Couldn't get it because it just pretty much went over his head. Or fist away from him. Byrne got the handball away to his teammate. He's in a little bit of trouble there that time in what? black. Just couldn't get the ball away in time. His it's hands were held. Well, he had it's one arm. One arm. arm. <laughs> it's, just, you know, it's a great <laughs> tackle. <'cause I'm> you, <laughs> you went ring a ring a rose. He's there for a while. <laughs> Pat Worth now in the pocket short to Benson there you go short once again so just getting some possession football here Nary Warren to just settle things down once again a bit early in this third quarter Mutima thumps one on the boot that's fisted away comes to ground well read there by Tonner yeah, there's a flying shot on goal. That's well done. That's class football. Well, it's gone through one end to the other, untouched by the doggies there, and that uh, was a big kick down there. Aren't even able to get down, some pressure on. No one even touched that from the doggies. Never got within Cooey there, and it was a lovely goal on the finish there. Could have been sideways. It was, I believe. Yeah, and that's his second goal as well. So uh, answered that pretty quickly to, uh, to 11-8, uh, 74 there, Nary. 3-2, 20. 
from uh, Wandon, four minutes gone, quarter number three, and uh, just systematically, and like you say, just possession footy, and uh, dis disallowed Wandon to get any, uh, any fingernail on the footy whatsoever. Yeah, they get that goal back from the first 20 seconds of the third, and they could get another centre clearance here, although Mutimer was beaten to the ball that time by Chamberlain, who was running off the back flank, or the, uh, well, the back 50, I should say. We go again. Both Ruckman probably got a hand to it. Comes out the back. Kick's going to come towards us. Bounces, bounces in front of uh, Deputy, oh, well Deputy Premier <laughs> Molino. <laughs> There's a bit of a mule kick, that one. He, he laid it. Whack, had it. Molino wraps him up. Well done. <laughs> hope we've got a good angle on that. It did just pop out the back there, Pretzel. And, uh, it's not Easter, is it? <laughs> no. All right. We go again. Benson. And a Mutima. Oh, thread the needle. To Miller. And Miller's kick has been cut off by the skipper in Hines. So Hines on 50. He's defensive 50. Few options down the line. Ops to potentially. Ooh, it's a risky kick, but comes off. Bailey. Bailey thought about using black. Now he'll go to the middle. That's had an element of risk to it. Oh, bit stiff there. Not much. Yeah, he's just uh, Conta uh, contact late. Contact there, after thought. the mark was already there. All the way. Hodgett sends one long. No one there at the back except Sorosinski. And even then, the boundary line beats Pressure him. from Ladner. Kept it in there. Don't touch the fly to the ball too well going there. That used to be a bit of a dip in the ground over there and, you, and you, you're running and it just keep going over your head because you're running up or down a hill. It's uh, used to happen at Warburton a bit as well. Throw in forward area there for one and can they get a bit of a score out of this? The ball's on the ground, kicked off the ground straight with an opposition player. And uh, there's a whistle on the player's going to say because they're out the advantage now. Wand and kick it out the open spaces in front of our broadcast fan. It just lands in front of uh, Joshy James. Couldn't get all of it. It's gone out of bounds for a throw in. Six minutes gone, 20, uh, Wandon 74, and Nary. Pushing closer to their 12th consecutive 100, yeah. Yeah, incredible, isn't it? Big throw in once again. Good backhand of fish there by Chamberlain of Wandon. It's a two-on-one situation. The boundary line wins once again. Nearly more hundreds than Smith, you reckon? Yeah, he really made well, one yesterday, Smith. Made one yesterday, Smithy. And uh, just, could you imagine the fidgeting going on there between Labuschagne and Smith? Oh, God. <laughs> anyway, throw in Slagan Flash. We're at the footy. Nice little tap out straight to his teammate there in Miller. Got a quick right foot to it. But the mark's been taken. And the umpire says, let him go, Cody. Coming back to our broadcast side, Liam gets a bit worried when it comes too close to the first coming on that mark. It's been punched out of his fingertips and it's gone out of bounds for a throw in. Just remember, he yeah, it's all right. I hope you don't have any nightmares tonight. You better sleep the light on. Yeah, I will. Do it for you. <laughs> Thanks, Dad. <laughs> throw in once again, broadcast side of the ground. More been tackled to the ground there while he went in the ruck with Benson. The umpire let it go. They get another clearance to Nary out in front. Nobody can get it. Ooh, the pretty fingers of Josh and James. Probably should have taken that. Stag. On the left foot, Stag. Good looking kick, umpire says it's a goal. Hayden Stagg, goal number two. They're easy kicks for us left footers. It's just almost dead straight when you kick at 90 degrees. And a lovely goal, 12 8, 80. Creeping close up, uh, Liam. 3 2 20. You've had the two scores together. They've got the 100, seven and a half gone, quarter number three. And uh, that was just a bit too easy, Pretzel. Yes, uh, just got to be able to. In Increase the intensity a bit here, wandering around the around the ball, and uh, get it in their hands first. Because when they are getting it forward, they, they uh, are looking likely to score on most occasions. This one comes straight down into the way of hands of uh, Brazizi, but he's wrapped up instantly, and there'll be another ball up by uh, Trent Cody, making laying that tattle, tackle. As he goes up. Got four acceptances, but still wins it down. And work the handball out the back here to Nary. Great, and a great smother by Brazizi, but he couldn't quite keep it going forward for him. And it's going to be a free kick here for high contact Late call. against uh, against Wanda. It's going to go to Tom Toner. I think it went against the uh, the deputy premier. X. <laughs> kick out wide. Look at that player all in there, aren't they? Yes. They spread really quickly and well, and it's uh, that's how. 
half the time as to why they get free and why they roll back so quickly. They're, they're, they're so switched on, this narrow side, as to what's uh, required by the coaching group. And they're working it beautifully again with possessions along half-back line, trying to pierce their way through the defence of Wandon. Now they've got players out wide. Still numbers in and around there. It's a bit high as well. And that'll be a free kick to them and uh, possibly another shot on goal here. Looks like Tommy Miller with it, I think, Pretzel. And, and a uh, long sleeve man out there in uh, number 20... Something? 29. 29? It's, yeah, it's Tom Miller. Tom yeah. Miller. Yeah. Yeah, right in front of the scoreboard shows 80, leading 20. The pies in front of the dogs. Which is, which is correct. Been behind a couple of times today. Yeah, indeed. Shouldn't be a bad kick from over there, about 35, 40 out. Good looking kick off the boot. It's just gone a bit of left of centre. And then unfortunately for Tommy Miller, it's gone through for a behind to a narrow 12 9 81. But they lead Wandon 3 2 20, third quarter, nearly 10 minutes gone. And uh, you're Wandon. They just use the ball. This skill factor is so much better at the moment when they uh, just chip their way through that zone. And uh, that's where Wandon get uh, stuck sometimes trying to break through that. Like in Nepal, a mid court press. Pretzel. And as you can see right in front of us at the moment, if you were here, right through the centre corridor here, Wanda have just got that 16-man zone. And uh, they really do make it hard to get through. Kick in from full back. Paddy Hodges is the target. Couldn't hang on to it, but got the resulting free kick for pushing the back. And they really need to move it. He's really got nowhere to go except short. And there he goes, very, very short. And puts a lot of pressure. Oh, Great mark there to Atkins. Little old one mitter. You would have done a few of those. Oh, you yeah, just pluck, pluck it out like cherries off a tree. Appropriate here in that one good cherry country back in the middle of the ground. Go on now, son. Play on straight away. It's in the hands here of Garner. Wants to go straight down the centre corridor. Looks good, but a good spoil laid there by Patworth of Nary Warren. And they're off and running once again. What a big long run there. He ran far enough to Kellyanne. Gave it off and turned it over once more. Do they? No, they don't. There's plenty of black and white jumpers. Oh, he's now in trouble. Harrison Byrne, good oh. tackle. And the umpire says no. And a chip kick backwards. Went straight into the hands of Trent Patworth. Oh, it's lucky, isn't it? Patworth switches play. Benson. Oh, that's come off the side of the bird. Comes out towards us, but well it works out magnificent to Tona. He's been good, this kid. Who'll slam one inside forward 50. Who's going to fly oh, from the side? A few did, comes to ground. Hodgett gave the handball off. They take the ball to the scoreboard side. They've got to be careful here because the black and white are starting to swarm. Although they're doing well here, the dogs. And they go forward once again. They're on the interchange bench side. Oh, bang. Go, that's better. Burn, played on straight away. Oh, this is oh, good. Play. Didn't need that. Molino, handballed once again to Brazizi, who set sail for home. Play of the great afternoon point. for the Dogs. Absolute great bit of play there. Probably didn't need to handball the Molino. It was good enough to get it again, Molino. Lucky he's close to the ground, but made hard work of it. But good goal in the finish, and like you say, Liam, probably the play today for the Doggies. Yeah, without a doubt, Brazizi to get the uh, a handball received there. Set sail from home from 40 to the highway end and right through the middle. Good play there from Wandon just to get uh, one back there. 4 2 26 Wandon and they trail Nary 12 9 81 12 gone. But that's what they've got to do, Pretzel. Take a bit of a risk, play on straight away, get it moving. The minute they stop and go backwards, they just roll back very quickly. That does this Nary Warren side. And that was a great bit of play. Do it again. I'm pretty sure that's exactly what they were told to do. Get it and play on, move it, take a risk. It's all risk reward at the moment. So it's back in the centre with umpire Lee Walters. Loves to throw it up, nice and high. And does it again. Gives both Ruckman equal opportunity to go and get it. Paddy Brazuzzi has got it, he's just been stolen. Cody took that and Amble over the top. The old one two. Gives it to the teammate there who's going to hand off. The Mitchell Tonner puts it in the centre half forward. It's that man stag. Kicked a couple so far, one in the first and one in this particular quarter. Well, we've been kicking distance, this man can hoof a footy. So, Hayden Stagg. Must go to a lot of parties, he always seems to be invited on. <laughs> Got a little smile from Cameron, that one too. Just a chuckle. Yeah. Very serious man, Cameron. He is. Scary man too. Very yeah, awesome. On the left leg, does right the old here. buddy arc and goes boom. Puts it about 28 metres past the goal umpire's hat and the distance was absolutely no problem whatsoever. Three goals to the big fella, Aiden Stagg, and that was answered pretty quickly. 13 goals, nine now. 87, the devil's number, Pretzel. And 4-2-26. Don't go, don't go out. 
Don't go out. 13 and a half gone. Quarter number three. He's uh, leading the goal kicking for the the Magpies today with that uh, that one. He's got a few uh, few people behind him on two, but uh, that puts him out in front with three. Good spread of goal kicks too. So Howes back in the ruck here for Nari. Another change in there. Oh, oh a bit of kick off yep, the ground, yep. but uh, right good. right when uh, Mitch Toner Toner had his hands on it, oh. so he gets the free kick. Got Clayton Oliver. Uh, Jet Dealey goes out wide towards the scoreboard. Didn't hit his target, and there's uh, pressure there from Wadden, and Hines is able to run away with it now. There's a uh, players have slid into the fence over there. Long kick down forward. He oh, his run back. Oh, head head just oh, fell into oh, his lap break, man, as, he, as he went down. Mitchell Turner. Uh, an accidental mark, you might say. Oh, yeah, great mark. Oh, they're off and running here once again, aren't they? They're moving the ball very, very quickly. Oh, just about a Oh, look, yeah, great players there. Callahan. Sliced at his own uh, teammate there. And Will Howe. And got collected by the next player, which happened to be a Wandon player. So, uh, was well, the ball up. And it's right in front of uh, Liam Scary's own, which is in front of our broadcast position at the moment. It'll over the top to Cody. Another one goes further back. I really like the way this guy talks about his football and Tommy Toner. He goes to the half forward flank there, Johnny Ladner. Took about 38 grabs, but the umpire says it's all right. I'll pay that mark. Back to the centre corridor they go. So you want to play on a bit more now. Mutz says he's got it. He's going to go very, very short. Finds a teammate there in Foley. Foley has it now, pretty much on the edge of the defensive 50. He sends a, an inside out floater. And that's a nice, strong mark there taken by Johnson. It's one of the first presenting uh, efforts I've yeah, seen probably him was. do this afternoon. Kicking goal in the first quarter. And shut down uh, quite well today, Clinton Johnson. And he's going to back himself in. Man on the mark is standing on the edge of the centre square, which pretty much connects straight onto the 450. Johnny's approach now, kicking to the highway end. Got a little bit close to the man on the mark, but the kick is no, absolutely nice sensational. Up. Not a problem at all, so uh, we're yeah. deceiving this uh, small ground. Second goal to him. And as you said, Pretzel probably wanted a better play as far as leading up from full forward goes. 5-2, 32. Wandon hanging in in this quarter. 13-9, 87. And Nary, 16 goal in quarter number three. So uh, just hanging on a bit there. Both kicked three goals in this particular quarter. So uh, that's a good start. Go goal for goal, try and win a quarter and try and just uh, peg them back a little bit more. Around the grounds, up by the camera, 36 trailing. Wurri Alec, who have had a good third term here on 68. Packer number 36, trailing Alinda Fernie Creek, a 67. Uh, Mobolk is 71, leading Mount Evelyn, 25. This ball comes back into the middle. Berry Springs, Emerald and Jebelcock 2 are still well ahead of their opponents for the day in Division 1. OK, up she goes, umpire Thomas. Quick kick out there by uh, Harrison Byrne. A big right fist also there by Miller of Nary Warren. Gained a few yards from them. They just handball it further forward. How does it the same? It's in the hands now of Nary Hall. A little upside down handball by Bader was it correct. He played throw. It looked a bit iffy. And the free kick here going to a circa rally. He wants to switch play, but it's no one over. It just makes it pretty obvious, doesn't he? He's going to go laterally right to the outside of the ground out oh, there. Brave kick. Who's out there? It was a brave kick. And Bailey, I think, taking that mark, uh, Liam. Correct, it was Bailey. Oh, playing kick to kick switches here. again to Hines. Hines goes short. Razizi. Oh, he ain't anything yet. They're just trying to work away from this bloody great big zone. Look at that. 17 man zone now. Razizi goes back to where it came from. Black. Black. Sorry. <laughs> That's okay. dark black and black. <laughs> Further down the line. There we go. There they could be on through the middle of the ground, but there's oh, an I'll inside out mung kick. Comes to ground. Might not might be the worst result. No. And that will be held up, you would think. And it will be. Ball up. And some of those kamikaze balls there, they? that can sometimes put everybody off. And three. As you say, mightn't be too bad, Liam. Three goals to three in this quarter so far. So, a bit of fight being shown by the dogs. Fisting it forward or trying to was Daniel Toner. It eventually works its way out the back to Dempster. Dempster switches oh, play. That's a kick. poor oh, kick. Oh, it just oh, bounces for Childers. There's a chance. Went in front of Foley, who ends up with the footy. Just got the handball in the nick of time. Callahan with the football. He's brought to ground. Whoop. And umpire Walters That's pushed a for it. Now he's pinned out a free kick. He's right onto it, Lee Walters, isn't he? Yeah, he's a good umpire, isn't he? Yeah, Jackson Byrne. Yes, it is, Jackson Byrne. Go back and have a shot. Keep on putting some scoreboard, uh, well, I wouldn't say scoreboard pressure, but just start to make it a little bit more respectable than, than what it was. 
This is for their fourth of the quarter. A little bit of a Cody Waitman style haircut around Jackson Byrne here as he's on his approach. Kick is on the way. It's faded left. Oh, geez, he's just thrown one there, I think, to Jackson Byrne. He definitely uh, threw a little haymaker in there, and there's still a little bit of spice in this game. See, I was just writing the score down there. So, yeah, he um, went to uh, remonstrate after he kicked the ball. It looked, looked like a little round arm went in there, but nonetheless, still got a couple of jumperies going on here. Yeah, pushy shot, shot. I think we're waiting for the ball to come back in the meantime. Umpires just trying to so count different things to down. the 70s pretzels. No pushy, pushy, shove, shove in the 70s. <laughs> <laughs> Big long kicked it out of sight on centre wing, all the way to the score, uh, coach's box out and out there. Atkins is there for one. You, you didn't waste line. the energy on that in the 70s, oh, did you? Well, you just I go just pushy, 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 shove, shove. You just, 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 you just, 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 just head, pushed him with one little hand. <laughs> Well, uh, You'd probably push someone in the middle of the next week, too. Oh, you copped them and gave them. And at the end of the day, you had a beer and said, hey. There was, was no marking contest. It was whoever could get hit around the back of the head. Yeah, it explains <laughs> a lot why I probably. twitch sometimes into the hands there. Oh, oh Bert. Uh, no, he just... Oh, oh careful there, guys. I think it's gone out of bounds. Uh, it's been touched, yep. Yeah. So, uh, had a chat chance to Jackson Byrne. Yarra Junction having a bit of fight back here in the yep. third quarter against Star Power Town. They're only trailing by 20 points at the moment. It's uh, 96 to 76. And Walbert of Milgrove is still up 82 on Alexandra's 49. North Melbourne by eight points. 11 minutes gone, the final What's quarter. Oh, probably going to kick the first three. Oh, the the comeback is on. Oh, they've probably run out of legs, the poor old Roo boys. No, they, they were just told to give them a three-quarter three head start. Oh, no, just didn't need to do that. <laughs> Colin was probably put the other 12 players on the ground. I'm not quite sure. <laughs> Over the back she went. Big kick out of the pack there. Nicely done too by Benson. Of the third. Nary Warren out of ruck and they're off and running now. Nary, they love just moving that ball really quick. And in the middle of the ground they go. Stag on the left foot. They're on. Oh, they're on here. Bounce as well. Goes round onto his left leg and with absolutely no opposition whatsoever. Travis Callahan puts through his first. And that was absolutely untouched footy once again. And that's about the ninth goal kicker now for Nary Warren in this game. And they go to 14 goals, 9. And Williams counting, 93. Correct. Was, was that right? Yep. Yeah, it was right, Leo. <laughs> Good guess, eh? <laughs> no one knows, anyway. 21 minutes gone, 93 leads, 33. They got a nice little 10-goal lead. And, uh, well, that was just great play from fullback. One that they just moved it forward quickly as they could. Nobody on. Travis Callahan there coming running off the wing. And left his opponent there, young Dawson Muir. And it was going the other way at the time, but uh, once the ball gets turned over, you're in a heap of trouble. Indeed you are, Leo, as the ball's back in the middle, flung back up in the air. Mutimer goes for a little bit of territory on the broadcast side. Oh, a couple of players <laughs> went to chep it for each other, and I'm going to get scared here as the ball goes out of bounds, and a couple we'll of players nearly go into the fence. Oh, careful, careful. Hello, oh, hello. <laughs> Unnecessary there. And, uh, a little pushy, pushy, shove, shove there. But, uh, young Ch Chase Black, just having a bit of fun there, really. He just and, decided uh, to try and re to the ground in between two players yeah. where there was no room. Sorry, Lou, go Oh, that's all right. We're Kick inside. talking because you're talking. No, that's all right. Kick Ooh. inside, forward 50. Comes to ground. Good road on the footy there. Good bounce, favoured. Oh, oh, great tackle. tackle. And a crunching tackle there, laid as mentioned by yeah, Leo Harrison, and Cameron. Yeah, Harrison Byrne. Yeah, Byrne. No, I don't think it is, actually. Yeah, it is Harrison. It was Jackson having the shot yeah. earlier. This is Harrison. Yeah. And uh, the twins are hard to tell apart. And uh, when they were juniors, we used to be able to tell them apart because Dad did one of the boys here and Mum did the other. One used to have a bun and the other one had a bit of a well, very ordinary crew cut and uh, pretty, pretty much Dad-like hairdo. <laughs> and, uh, but the boys, they got a bit of fire in their bellies. So Harrison Byrne to the highway end for the fourth of the quarter. Excuse my voice. Leo's getting a, a phone call. We'll kick from about 35. Kick is on the way. And off hands, it's been, rushed. yeah, off hands. Oh, yeah, first rush to the afternoon. It is, Cameron. I'm going to give that to you. You're going to have the call. 5-4 to 49. 22, nearly 23 gone, Cam. Yep. Kick in takes place into the uh, pocket. It's Papworth with it. Not quick on moving it this time. They're going to have to go long. Want to have a man up, but uh, it's a two on one eye over the back here. Is free kick in front anyway. He's going to go to Richardson. Uh, Ladner was seriously outsized and outnumbered there in that contest. Sorry, boys, it's just the daughter's made her way back from Darwin. Only took her three days, but uh, airlines today. <laughs> Glad you know him. Well done, boss. Plays on now, and it's all yours, Leo or Liam. Yeah, there we go, Liam. You yeah, kick down it. the line. It's uh, going to make its way towards the bench line. Oh, it was another crew tackle for too high, and 
and they're letting each other know about it every time. There's a little bit of a cool tackle today, and it's going to Black. 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 Strange oh, the ball. Yeah, the, uh, the crowd are getting involved. Harry Warren, guys, are getting involved. James took the mark, kicks to the outer side, and Tono got the hands on the footy and escorted it over. All those flights, just in Australia, it's just my daughter ringing. So she's, I wanted to know how she was going. She was coming back from Darwin, told me she'd be uh, at the airport, rang her this morning. She said, oh, I'm at the airport, Dad, that's good. And I said, oh, that's good, you'll be home soon. She goes, no, I'm in Adelaide. So uh, yeah. took a few of the detours and a few cancelled flights, and I think there's a lot of people been in the same boat. But she's home now, thank goodness, and uh, just take it easy. Great mark. Yeah, uh, Bruce Back to the footy. Yeah, uh, Sorry, then. Just, just a bit of travel guide there, that's all. Sending it everywhere today. Oh, yeah, score. just confusing your illogical, illogical. Running in from the side was Ladner, couldn't hold onto the ball, and there's another free kick for a hold going the way of Wandon. Yeah, single two ways there, Andy Thomas. And, uh, been good today, the umpires, I feel. Yeah, no, they've been controlled. It's a tough game to control, and uh, small ground, there's a lot of tension. You need a bit more open space, and uh, they, both these sides would relish that, I'd imagine. But. Uh, We'll have to just wait and see that. Good job. So, on the defensive side of 50 here, Wondon, they go right <laughs> back. Here is Black. He's looking for a bit of movement here. You go to the opposite pocket. <laughs> I love the crowd getting involved there <laughs> on the hill. Yeah, they're getting up and about here. Uh, fans of both oh, sides. He's kicked oh, the point. He's kicked the point. No, he no, hasn't. No, no, oh, no. Not quite. Oh. Hodge it. Now, this could be a dangerous ball. Coming in from the side to affect yep. it was Miller. Still on the ground. Miller will have to go again here. Picking up the ball here this time. Oh, now that's ooh, was an interesting handball. Mutima will eventually get it. Said one on the left. Boot camp. Mutima! And it's a bit a of pushy shove shove, shove going right on again. And a bit of scuffles. And uh, yeah, once they turn that over, and he's just kicked his third goal. Cards come out. Yellow cards come out. Okay, keep it watching that, and uh, I'll just let you know the score now is a 15-9-99, Nary, 5-3-3-3, Wandon, 25, nearly 26 minutes gone, minutes gone, and yeah, it's getting a bit willing out there at the moment. Lee Walters, the umpire, right in the middle of it. He's keeping a good eye on it. Don't you worry about that. Little do the Wandon, these Wandon blokes realise is the ball's come right back to the middle. The umpire's just going to ball the ball up. Well, he should. Just throw it up. And uh, just don't learn on any buttons there, press. There's about 15 blokes off the ball here trying to fight this fight, the and the ball's gone. back up in the middle. Well, you watch that. The umpire's thrown it up. There's only about six on six at the moment because everyone else is in the huddle of the blue. A little kick came out of the pack there, and that's by Garner of uh, Wandon. He's got one on two at the moment because all the rest are not here. Garner goes in, gets tackled without it. The umpire lets it go from Dempster. And it's getting willing. Cody picks it up. He'll settle him down, the skipper of Nary. It's all, all over now. The runners get out the way there, son. Over the back of the pack it goes. Back into the hands there, almost got it there was James Cooden. And it's going to be thrown around the back and it's going to be a free kick or ball up. It's going to be a ball up. Lights have come off. And the lights have been turned on and uh, yeah, got a bit rolling, but the best thing to do is get that game going. It was about 10 on 10 then. It was a much better yeah. game, much more open. And um, by Thomas says, I'll throw it up. A lot of players around the footy here. Close on three-quarter time. They went up, they went down. No one actually touched the footy. Callahan probably dropped that. And the umpire just lets them go once again. Brazuzzi, good enough to get it out. Unfortunately, goes straight to the opposition skipper there in Cody. And uh, got thrown out of there in no uncertain terms. On the bottom of the pack there, Stag, well tackled there by Chamberlain. It's going to be another ball up. Certainly no love lost between these two sides. Well, not at the moment, but I'm pretty sure they'll all shake hands and have a beer at the end of it there. One little arm tackle, but a little handball came out, and Luna kicks it off the ground, goes towards the boundary line, and ooh, just got to be a little bit careful near that fence, gentlemen. Again. And uh, just all this pushy shove, 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 and I love all this. Oh, it's so different in the 70s. Oh. Throw in. Pretzel's loving all this. We're pushing the back in the ruck now by... The, Free kick no, off the no, ball. Lee Walters right in front of us, right in front of Liam. He's got his hands in his head. And he says it's going to be a free kick here to Wandon. And I think it might go to Hurst. Him and Tommy Taylor are just having a bit of a discussion. And, uh, well, Hurst got the uh, lollies there. Now he's going to be told to play on. Dashes around one. Oh, great great smother laid by Callahan. Hurst goes in once again. Comes off second best. Looking for someone else in the black and white jumper, but misses it. Oh, nice little kick off the ground there by Dempster. Found Mitch Toner. They go right down the middle of the ground, do they? They go out wide, natural fact. It's in the hands now of Toner. And that goes to Lamble back. And there's another whistle on play. A bit of discipline just happening here. Umpire says, play on. Advantage. And uh, Nary. Here they go once more. Straight down the middle of the ground. And uh, who wants to go for the footy? This is when you want to go for the footy and go hard. Cody tackles his opponent. Surely no prior opportunities. Right in the middle of the ground here at Wandon. 
And uh, well done there. Cody picking up his opponent there in Bailey. It's going to be a ball up. 28 gone. We go again. Little tap forward by Benson. Tumbled its way forward. Another 10 or 15 metres. It's gone inside forward 50 for Wanden. Clearing kick from Big. Atkins, I'm pretty sure that was. Goes to the well, outside. Now. Yeah, that's him now. Centering ball. Good fist away. You can hear that through the effects mic from Miller in the long sleeves. Another free kick. This time for a throw, it appeared to be. Still a little bit more pushy pushy. Free kick to Wandon. Going to be taken by Hodgett. 29 minutes gone too, so 33 99, 66 point lead there to the Pies. 34. I missed something, have I? You did miss something. How dare I? Yeah, you had a phone call. Oh, my daughter, beg your pardon. What's who's got it? Paddy Hodges. It is him. Cowboys uh, kicking style. To the highway end. Long arms. Mm, he's a bit inspector gadget. That's on. touched off the boat, I reckon. I heard something through the. Well, he went very close to the man on the mark, might. didn't he? Oh. 5-5 five, five to 15-9, 29, pretty much 30 gone, third quarter. He yeah, just walk, kept walking into the man on the mark there. and uh... Still a little bit of chit-chat going on towards the middle of the ground between Bruzzisi and Udema. Umpire in very close proximity. The ball has just made its way halfway down to Lilydale. We've got it back now. Kick into play is a good one. Miller was all by himself, effectively. Miller will get told to go here in a second. He does now. He'll go back to where the ball came from. And get brought back a little bit, the Wandon player. Short kick to Mutima. They're just playing Kevin's off at the moment. Yeah, they close to three-quarter time. Mutima back to Miller. Mutima would think should just thump the ball down the line. He does so now. It's going to go in front of us. Floyd oh, got the back! Oh, what a oh, grab oh. from hell! Oh, what a beauty! Uh, an umpire, Lee Wallace, has actually paid the mark and pointed the wrong way then. But what a great... I hope that's part of the uh, action because that was a super mark. Yeah, the mark was before the siren. But we'll give it to him. That. We'll give it to him. It's three-quarter time here at the Kennel and Wandon. 5-5. 35, much better quarter. Kick three goals, three in that particular quarter. Oh, <laughs> there won't be any pushy shove shove in the block, commentary box either. I'm going to let you know right now. You'll just oh, all think you'll be an elbow banging a little over the nose in a second. Yeah, let's start this game. <laughs> we'll put the button and now we go into the last quarter. It was Lee Wallace who threw it up. It went down, still in the centre circle. And we're going to have a secondary ball up. Josh Toto there looked like he was Ooh. just looking at the umpire, not even worried about where the ball was, and like Still telling him what to do. A bit of Bill worry about that one. <laughs> a little tap out going for the forward two. And the cricket we're going all right there as well. A little amble out the back, and there's plenty of black and white jumpers. Bit of a check side kick, and inside out to find Callahan. His amble off straight away, and they go into that forward. Area up one small dude, Narry, and leading in the race for the footy there. So always, can he pick it up before the boundary line? He cannot. And your mate Munima had another kick there. Um, uh, speaking, of, speaking of another cricket, Australia 364 all out. Smith 145 not out. There you go. Is he talking to Kawaja yet? Probably. There we go. You hope so. Throw in. Forward. Oh, he's got big arms. Right back in the centre corridor. Slap out the back. Mary, roll one, two. Kick around the corner by the big fella there in Suckling. Goes in that forward pocket area. The mark's being taken here by Wandon. Which was a foley back there, probably is. On nah. the left. No, it's not. No. It's a left footer, no. so it's not foley. Uh, Chapman, I think. Chapman, it could have been. No one could take all that mark. But Lamble comes out. Oh, a bit of fresh air shot. Good tackle laid by Hurst after he missed a kick. A little handball quickly out there. It was by Patworth. Giving it across to a teammate there in Mutima. Into the forward area they go. Nice little kick into the centre corridor by Tonner. Nobody can hang on to that mark. The big fella there kicks it further out. But to make some distance there was Richardson. And he's giving it here to a teammate, and this looks like Tony. the young fella in Tommy Toner. Well, I certainly like the way this young fella goes about his footy. Potentially for the 10th goal kicker today, Leo. Well, there we go. See if you can get it. You've been getting a few today. And you've just got to count the double check yourself. Yeah. How'd you go? Yeah, no, it was correct. OK, yeah. so Tom Toner will kick from pretty much the arc to the highway end to bring up the ton. The kick is on the way. You'll hear the cheers. 
from the players, but it's missed the whole lot, would you believe? Out of bounds on the full. Free yeah. kick to London. He got the distance, though. Yeah. He did. Just. Struggle for accuracy to uh, get that, though. From the kick in. That's the outer side. Comes off hands out front. One in here with the crumbs. Pushing it back now. It's in the hands of uh, Nari, who kick it around the corner. It's taken here by a Beta, who kicks in nicely and finds the lead there of, uh, is that 12? Or no, it's Siwis. At Siwis, yep. 32. And I do hope we're saying his name correctly. If we don't, we apologise. But we were given that name, uh, pronunciation by Cameron. Is that right? We were. Not. We were. I think we were, yeah. He's not smiling. Mate. He loves us. I know he does. Deep down he does. On the left foot. Oh, so he pops it up to the top of the goal square. Off hands of Richardson. <gasps> Taking it in by Brazilese. Even Foley's under pressure here. Coming over the back there. Taking the mark. And kicking the goal. Sliding it through beautifully is Joshua Tona. Tenth goal kicker of the day. There we go. And there's the ton. And the third best umpire on the ground. Well, it's certainly a bit of a helicopter <laughs> kick there. But it went straight through. 16 goals, a 9, 105. They didn't need a point, uh, Len. They didn't need the goal, did they? Three and a half gone this last quarter. 5-5, 35, ah, Wandon. And, uh, yeah, yeah, that they rush kick well. by Brzezzi just put Foley under way oh, too much pressure there, for, having to run back with the well, flight of the ball. I was waiting for Mark of the Year, which just sat there. I would have sat on his head, Liam. <laughs> <laughs> Took would've. a mark, waved to the crowd on the way down, and then just run in and kicked the goal. <laughs> and then I would have woken up, that's all. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, they didn't call me Leapy Lee for nothing, Pretzel. It used to cost me 20 bucks a week, actually. Back in the middle. Umpire Thomas throws it up in the air. Oh, we aren't having fun because we can. Oh, just diving on the football. The umpire lets that go. Big kick out of the centre of the ground there. The Brockman and Benson's been pretty good today. And this time the other big fella and Howe takes it quite easily. Test mark about door 15 out. If they start getting a couple of goals here, Liam, I think it's uh, the floodgates are just going to absolutely open up. Yeah, I think you might be right. And uh, we certainly don't want to see that. So Will Howes kicked one goal, one did that in the first quarter for Nari. His uh, run up now is longer than the kick he, uh, he's got to give. Hasn't had his usual uh, recent form performance up forward today. He was poked at that a bit, and uh, ooh, I think oh, he might have just through. stuck it in, I think. Oh, I certainly did, and uh, Howes kicked his second goal. It made the uh, goal umpire, uh, Sarah Fish, he run right to the goal post. He did it quite well. Are you sure? <laughs> yeah, I had a look. Got a ponytail out the back. So, uh, it's, it, you know, when you've got Brendan Small, who's three foot seven and a half. And, uh, it's not small. Yeah. Eight, three foot eight. Okay, I'll give him another half an inch. 17 goals, nine. One, one, one. That's another no dangerous cricket number, Pretzel, isn't that right? Lord Nelson. Lord Nelson, you're a cricketer, aren't you, Pretzel? You keep telling me about it. I don't know that one. Well, you don't, that's an English one. That, you know, that's when the goal umpire wiggles. Is that right, Liam? I think so. Yeah. See, I'm an all-round sportsman. Back in the middle of here, take it away, Liam. Good Liam bowler. got a goal there good, for good a Good bowler, Cameron. He just doesn't want to talk about it. Benson got the hit out. Well, that was a throw. Ball will come out of the middle once again for Nary Warren. They go inside 50 again. This is starting to get a little bit too easy, I think. Oh, that's what we're concerned about. Yeah, might just uh, flood right open here. This is Sawies once again. And he's kicked two on the afternoon. He's kicked Chu Chu. This potentially for Nary Warren's 18th and potentially their third of the quarter in a space of a couple of minutes to the highway end. From about 46 metres, kick is on the oh, way. Helicopter <laughs> floater, but it's done the job. And the margin extends its... Oh, God. Math beating me. A lot. Yeah, a lot. A lot to not quite a lot. 117 to 35. You want to work out the difference, we'll get the calculator out. And six minutes gone, and uh, oh, they've really kicked three in this particular quarter. And we just want this... Uh, there should be a mercy rule in front of Yeah, I was going to say 82. Yeah. There's three more goals, and they're 100 in. Yeah. Oh, well, they're, they're, you know, this is their... How many times in a row now, uh, Liam? Kicking... Uh, this will be 12 in a row. 12 in a row, over uh, 100 behind. Over 100. 100 they haven't points. dropped... There's no game this year that they haven't scored over 100. That's incredible, isn't it? They've got another tap out there as well, and here they go. Nice little secondary tap out. Was Chamberlain of Warnock. Can they go further forward? They can't. So young Tona has got it with him now. Can switch play if he wants to. Puts it in that centre corridor. They're taking all the risks as they, that they want to. James, good spoil there for Wandon. Can they get a little bit of a break here? No, they can't. It's just shuffled out there once more. Married this time through the agency of Sorosinski. Got tackled with the footy. Ball spilt 
free. Just trying to work their way out. Can they do it? Atkins has got it. Fumbled at secondary. Hines goes in for Wandon. And the skipper, Lucy, holds the footy up. And there's going to be another ball up. Last coming up there is Josh Turner. And ball up, centre wing, front of the broadcast van. Both Rutten probably got hold of that and probably a little bit better was Benson of Nary Warren. Can they get it out? Little ball comes over the top. Oh, everyone just over around the footy. And uh, Mutimer just picked it up casually. Go across with a teammate, kicked it around the corner. And that was Miller. And from points of him, goes straight in the hands of Wanden. Up they go. And the skipper there of Wanden, Tommy Hines, takes a very good mark. Hines plays off, gave it off to that time Jackson Byrne. And it's been cut off by Nary once again. Oh, it's tight right the line and ran and yeah. Awful long way, correct decision made there. Yep. It should be called more often, especially in the AFL. They run miles. Mm. It was called a couple of times last night. Yes, Black, oh, just over the top. Very, very short. Brazizi slams one inside forward. 50, oh, nearly taken a nice one handed mark in from the side was Pat Worth, but now coming away with it is Dempster. Dempster sends one long oh, down the nice wing, a nice one hander by Callahan, who gave it back off to Dempster. <laughs> who kicks even further down the line and they're just playing possession football here at the moment. They've dominated the first eight minutes of the quarter. Kick to the top of the 50, about 30 out from Hope. Snap around the body! It's another one! Don't tell me that's Munimer again! Oh, why would... Oh, I think it is! What, you got, you got his picture hung on your bedroom wall. What He's, are you talking about? <laughs> <laughs> He's kicked four. He's taken the lead. Uh, the leading goal kicker. He has indeed. Eight and a half minutes gone. 19, nine. One, two, three. Leading one than 5 5 35. Is it Mutimer? <laughs> Pretzel, really? Hey? That's a joke, isn't it? He was maybe thinking it was suckling. Oh, no, he wasn't. <laughs> He's going, is it Mutimer? Please be Mutimer. Is it? <laughs> of course it is. <laughs> He's a gun, isn't he? Oh, just... we're, not, we're, only, we're only having fun here because we can. Yeah, God, I can't wait to get you to Gembrook next week and you just got to talk rubbish and I'll. <laughs> Yeah, you got the beanie on you. You'll have it on. You have the beanie, the jacket, the whole lot on next week. Well, even wear the socks if you're yeah. lucky. You might put the old 26 on as well if I can find it. The woolen jumper with the buttons and the collar. Straight in the forward 50. Go Nary once more. Top of the goal oh, square. Richardson. Big fella. One, two. Couldn't hang on to it. Over the back they go. Wanden, they desperately defend this. Can they get a score? Going to the other end. brazizi has been quite good there for uh, Wanden. Gets tackled as he's kicked it. There's two, three, two on one. Hang in. Hang on to that, son. And it's going to be a ball up. Great tackle late there by Zietzman. On his opponent, and it's going to be a, a ball up. Well done there to Young Hurst as well. Ball up, 60 metres out from the Wandon goal. They just got to get in there. Good tackle away there by the big fella in Benson, and getting up from the bottom of the pack. It's Chamberlain. I reckon Benson gave him a little bit of a pat on the back there. <laughs> to say well done. Up they go once again. They've got the height there and got the out there was Benson once more. Wanden just trying to get it out. Tackled strongly there with Sarah Kelly. Uh, Sarah. Get it out. Say. Sarah Crowley. Sarah Crowley. Sarah, I hope he gets dropped next week. <laughs> <laughs> Can't say Sir, those Sarah Crowley. Sarah Crowley. Beg your pardon there. It's not as easy as Bruno Wigan, is it? So a little kick around the corner. Standing there all alone, taking an uncontested mark. Young Bailey. Bailey centers the ball. Oh, 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 went oh. through the hands that time of Callahan. But they still come away with it, Wandon. A few numbers behind the footy here. Oh, is that 50? 25? Circarelli. A couple of touches in the last 30 seconds or so for Circarelli. He'll sit it, kick it inside the forward 50. It's not that hard to say, Leo. Mark taken in defensive 50. A little rainbow starting to form. I can see it through the window. Nice kick down the line. Miller had to dive for it and slips. Did so nicely. Go to Tommy, go to Cho. Miller will go backwards. They do so nicely. Bader. And now they've pretty much completed the switch and they might be out here on the outer wing as they're going to go have an absolute gallop. Oh. That's a float of mongrel inside 450, but it sat nicely for Richardson. He tried to handball oh. over his head. Here we go. And they're still on out the back here. Oh. Dribbler. Is it through? Oh, touched. just touched. <laughs> Two diving efforts there. I'll tell you what I wanted. A good ground that would have got through all that. was right. Callahan. And uh, did it quite it nicely, didn't he? Nice little bend it, little kicks on the ground. And it played on quickly here, Wandon. They've got it up towards the wing in front of us. Watch out, Liam! <laughs> <laughs> that was flying straight at you into the window there. <laughs> His heart rate's gone at 150. <laughs> <laughs> 
I reckon if you're in a car, you know when a bug hits a windscreen, do you duck on that as well? Oh, shut up. <laughs> <laughs> no. Imagine if we had no windows here or if they were all open. Oh, my goodness gracious <laughs> me. Anyway, it's a throw. Right in front of us. You calm down. Get that heart rate down. Liam, if you can. Big throw in there as well. Trust, trust, Goes under Molino's hands. Good shepherd laid out there by Cody. Bit of a throw handball type thing out of Nary Warren. Get it out there. Goes through the hands of Miller. Couldn't get on onto it for uh, Nary Warren. It's a step over Toll. I'll do a bit of a crush type tackle. Got to be a bit careful. Chase Black at the bottom of that. And it's going to be another ball up. Throw up. Don't Fruckman just tap it out the back there. What are you going to do now? Kick it around the corner. Touched off hands. And it's going to be out of bounds for a throw in. And that came off the boot of Mutsa. Mutsayers. So another throw in. What say you? What say you, Mitsayers? Throw in. Still centre wing, right in front of our broadcast van. Williams hoping it goes to the other side. He's telling the opposition to switch the play. There's a whistle on play. He's grabbed the opposition's <laughs> his Switch! Foot. How, did, how did he grab his foot in a ruck contest? Well, I don't know. Play the trip in the air. Anyway, Chamberlain, give it across there to Molino. Goes long into that forward pocket, right near the pavilion, with the big crowd standing there. Little I tap see out the rainbow leader. It does too. Oh. Young fellow Tony picks it up there. Goes back oh. in forward. Little blind turny. Balls two. Good low pass, and they're off and running once again. And come off the hands of Siwis. The switch play for you, Liam. You're back. Yeah, thank you very much. I'm a lower beta. Kicked it to the outer side. We're waiting for it with Sorosinski. Kicks it to the 50. Juggling for it was Richardson. Couldn't bring it to ground. They still have it here, Wandon, on the outer side, but being wrapped up was black and eventually taken over. Yeah, I did tell you there was a nice he's little rainbow for me. Good, good forward pressure today, Callahan, for uh, Nary. Yeah, he's been good. He has been very good. Kicked, uh, kicked the goal. Got some more netball scores. Must be nearly finished there too, yeah, Pretzel. Yeah, would be. I know the crowd out there are waiting for him with bated breath. Ball back in. James sends one forward. Balls between three. No one can bring it down. A few of them scrap for it. Tonner. Oh, there oh, we go. Bit too easy. There's Butimer. He'll send it forward to a one-on-one -on -one and eventually comes to ground. It could have been a one-and-two grabber. Quick spinning handball oh, from Stag. Now two they're bounces. away. Two bounces on the three in front of us. Oh, and should have been met downfield. Yep, yep. yep. Good yep. call, Liam. Cameron will be umpiring next year. Right. Free kick going... Further down the ground, that's poor old uh, Paddy Bruzzese. He's copped it all afternoon. Yeah, he's been good, hasn't he? He's yeah. got uh, enough tape there. Cost him a fortune to strap up. Showed up here at the first quarter in the uh, twos and was ready to go for the start of the seniors. And, uh, it's Clint Johnson who's taken the downfield free kick. He's copped a few of them. Kick two. Clint Johnson. Presented well in that third quarter. So kick a nice goal. He's in front of the people to give him something to smile about. Kick is on the way. I'll tell you what, he's done a great job from oh, there. Well, that's a great kick. Clint Johnson's kicked his third. Wandon sixth, 6-5, six, 41. Plays 19, 10, 124, 15 gone here in the final quarter. What do you got for me, Pretzel? Oh, I've got Mombolk have defeated Van Evelyn, 62 to 32. Yep. Rock have defeated Beaconsfield, 56 to 40. Uh, down at Upway, it was Wurialik, 67, have defeated Upway to Coma, 41. And as we said earlier, Packenham, 52, defeated Linda Fernie Creek, 48. Are we after any Div 1s still? Uh, uh, yeah, we've got some full times. Berry Springs, 47, have defeated Belgrave, 43. So as the ball's come out of the uh, centre bounce, down towards the forward line for Nary Warren. Running through here is uh, Wadham. Dropping it at the inopportune time, but you're able to get it to Brzezzi. Get a couple of handballs out here wide. They can go up the line towards Johnson, who was being held as he went through for the lead. And it will take the resulting free kick. Brzezzi's run past. He's ignored. Johnson plays on now. He goes for the short kick to the lead. But uh, Hodgett was a caught behind there a bit too long and able to get the hands out in front just to create the contest and get it out of bounds for a boundary throw in, Liam. Yeah, sure do. Still down there into the ground. So can they wrangle a couple home here at a time? Wandering on what's been a, a grim day of sorts. Barging his way through it. Get the snap on goal. Oh, it was a pretty good effort there by Garner, but there was someone there last line of defence. I'm pretty sure it was... That's Tommy Toner. Tom Tony, yeah. He's been good today. Oh, I like this game. Toner goes to the opposing pocket. Good. We're out of danger here. Oh, oh, great. Touch from behind. Nice fist forward there from Bailey, although it's come undone as Nary come away with it once again. And that kick has just found... 
teammate on the full, so it's a slow approach here from Nary Warren out of their defensive half, and they've gone for it, went through the hands of Siwis that time, it's brought to ground, Hines is the one that's over the footy, did dive on it, and the umpire will pay hold on the footy. Free kick going the way of Nary Warren as a light rain starts to fall once again, they go inside forward 50, Mutimer has got it again. Imagine how his heart rate and voice goes up the minute there's Mutima. You know. <laughs> the excitement levels of the young man. He met his dad the other day, so he goes, You'd be Mr. Mutima, wouldn't you? <laughs> yeah, he shook his hand. Yeah. Funny man, well, aren't you? <laughs> it's all so, good fun. Mutima in the pocket, walks around, and snaps oh, he's, through. Oh, he's that. That's a great goal. Yeah, he's got it. Fifth of the afternoon. Oh, yeah, I reckon you're tight for a bit of excitement there, William. 20 goals, 10 now, 103. Oh, I think that's uh, just about it, I think, for uh, Bondon. 6 5 41. What have we gone? 17, nearly 18 minutes gone. Quarter number four, and uh, he's kicked the goal in every quarter as well, Kurt Munimo. He's been very, very good. He's kicked five straight, and uh, here's a class act, uh, Liam. And, uh, got an early full time score around the grounds, Leo. Okay, who have we got? Packetham, 7 15 57. Oh, that's a tip goal. Have gone down to Alinda Fernie Creek. 12-10-82. Wow. 7-15, so 22 shots apiece. And Another full-time score in a very high-scoring match yeah. is uh, Berwick Springs, 25-25. Wow. 50 scoring shots. 175 oh. yeah. have defeated Belgrave, who I don't really think scored after... No, only scored uh, three behinds <laughs> after half-time. 3-6-24. That's... Oh. Uh, Bird kicks it the wrong way off the ground out of the centre square. He got the clearance, but it was into the hands of a teammate. And Black's now got it on the half-back line in the wing here. Hambles it over the top. He's got it to uh, teammate in Dawson Muir. He goes to the centre-half forward mark where uh, Van Durek can run through here on his left foot and pop through a late goal. Has he kicked it? That's he a has. Goal too. Well done to Harrison Van Duren. They haven't given up anyway. That's one thing about Wandon, that they've, they've persisted with it and they've done very, very well. 7 5 uh, 47. Trailing Nary, of course, 20 20, 130. But uh, they keep persisting. They've got a good lot of young boys in this uh, side here, Wandon. Beating their score from the last time they met. Well, yeah, there Wondon. you go. And another final score for you, Leo. Okay. You'll be happy with this one. Uh, division. Jimbrook. Jimbrook Cocker 2, 15 yep. 13, 103. Yep. Have defeated Yarra Glen, who again were only able to score four behinds after half time. Three goals for 22. Good. Well done, Brookers. Any... Ball back. Oh, sorry, Cameron. No, that's all right. Back in the middle. Go. Ball back in the middle of the ground. Bit of a scrap forward as the uh, rain sort of starts to take bit of shape here. And yeah, the car lights straighten our eyes. Yeah, yeah, it's probably turn gonna... your bloody lights off. <laughs> Please. No, it's going to get out before the traffic. You know what it's like trying to get out of way from the park. <laughs> <laughs> there we go. The ball went up. The ball went down. Who wants to pick it up? Nobody can. The ball, the ball just spills through oh. at the moment. Umpire lets him go. Molino on hands and knees. He spent a lot of time there today. Kicked around the corner was Mitchell Tonner. Straight down the cricket pitch it went. Went up. Big down. Oh, oh, two bottom each places. Other. Flatten each other as well. And a bit of a Greek wrestling hole happening there. Wandon, can they get it out? Good handball. Dark now, and the rain comes tumbling down. Wandon are out. Kicking down there towards our oh, forward line, stretch. and one between two, and a good mark taken here by Nary Warren's Mitch Tonner. Tonner, your man, Leo. No, so, no, no, I like Tommy Ton Toner. Oh, apologies. Yeah. I like this guy too, but Tommy Toner really impressed me. Yeah, it gets confusing. Toner, oh, no. Toner. Here's Daniel Toner. And goes to Miller, who plays on, kicks towards the 50, carries the pack, went through Richardson's hands, and it also went through Bailey's hands. He eventually gets it, Bailey, who handballs to James, and they're doing a little bit of link up here. Careful, there, it's close to you. Yes, I know. Thank you, Leo. <laughs> Get a body. He's trying to protect you, mate. <laughs> oh, oh, it's it's that's a top. nice grab there, that type from Hodgett, who sends one forward. Here he is. Yeah, and there's your man. That was... Uh, Tom Toner that time, and that's just gone out of the, out full, of the no. bounds on the full, maybe. Deliberate. Oh, throw in. 21 and a bit gone. It's a uh, 83 point game. The Oops. final score at Warby. Warby, 15 15, 105. There's a lot of double ups. Uh, Alexandra, 8 11, 59. So that makes it really hard for Alex to make the finals now. Yeah, I thought that, that could have hurt That's them. probably their season. Ball back in. Bruzizi got over the top of it. 
There's still a chance to score here because they're deep in the pocket. Shot on goal has gone Ooh, right been. across the face. Got a little excited there. Once Would again. have been goal of the day, that's why. Yeah. Worthwhile getting excited if that had gone through. Yeah. I think the scoreboard's a goal behind once again uh, if everyone's listening. No, they're, a, they're a goal ahead for Wanda. Goal and a goal behind, behind for, for Mary. Mary. Oh, well, good scorekeeper's uh, better than anything, isn't it? Good scorer, wins every time. They need a few more. Kick out of the pack there. Went up very high and very wide there by Chase Black. It has snuck through for uh, behind. Black. Black. And 7-6, uh, now 48. Uh, Wandon, 2021, 30. Uh, Mary Warren began 22 minutes quarter, number four. So we're just waiting for the footy to come back in. Tommy Taylor straight up the middle of the ground. Find your mate, Kurt Mutabar. That's <laughs> uh, centre half back. I'll belt you with a second. <laughs> Oh, coffee's kicked in, mate. On the halfback flank, they're just going to chip it around now. Very good at maintaining possession of the football, are Nary. Players peel off and they're just quite prepared to go short. This time it's a great big long kick straight down the outer side of the ground. Umpire lets him go on once more. Little land ball comes out. Players around the football don't know where it is. Umpire Lee Walters can't see it either. The lights are shining in our eyes. And it's going to be a ball up. And uh, centre wing. Out of side the ground. We've got a bit of precipitation happening at the moment. We need that to stop. And one of our Nathan's going up on the roof. Probably saturated. Probably wet. Good guess. Yep. He's not going to be happy. Really wrong. Up she goes once again. Secondary tap out there. We've got nice left hand to it. Was Benson of Nary Warren. Big long kick out of the pack. Don't know who that was, but it's gone towards Nary Warren. Oh, just dropping a chest mark. Probably should hang on to that. Not sure if that's how or Richardson. Umpire says there's a free kick. And it is Richardson. And he's already kicked a 2-2 two -two today. And uh, might just be within kicking distance. All the ball's a bit wet and heavy now. Wants to play on straight away. Got close to the man of mark. Made some kick it short and up and high. It all goes over the back of the pack. Nobody there for anyone to pick it up at all. Oh, Running through hard there. Picking it up on the grab. But getting tackled straight away with Sammy Hodgett. And it's gone out of bounds. Hyde, no. Hyde's free, free, free kick. Too high. high. Too high. Didn't see yep. it. Oh, Tommy Hyde's the skipper. Target pretzel. You can yep. see it better than us. I can. He's looking to switch across here. But no one's going down there for him. He's still looking that way. He hasn't looked up this side of the ground at all until right now. Where he just puts it down the line. He's got a couple of players here. Comes off the hands, though, in the, in the wet. Uh, Brazizi couldn't uh, get the target with the handball. He's coming out the back here. Molino tries to get in there, but uh, oh, there's man comes in. Good bump. bump fair bump. Ball. Ooh, that hurt and Hurst is down a little bit. And, uh, Molino's got cramp, and uh, yeah. well, everything's happening here at the moment, Leo. So we've got a final score at Powley. Powley have taken home the victory. And what's the Powley score, mate? Oh, I'll, I'll take okay. after this play goes. You can yeah, take that. Yeah, it's gone out of bounds. Pretzel, <laughs> give it out. 20 goals, 12, 132 to Powtown. To Yarra Junctions, 12 goals, 10, 82. Good game of football there. And they always get some big scores happening down there at the mill. Uh, two more, f uh, another full time for Div 1, the last one, after the, when we're ready after this boundary throw in. Tap towards the wandering goal as uh, Nari are defeating to get some, uh, retreating to get some room here. They're able to work it through. A couple of chains of handball out wide, and it's in Dempster's hands now as he kicks long down the line of the wing. Leading out, couldn't take the mark, and it spills off into the hands of Wandering, who pump it back forward, but straight to uh, Leo's man of the day. Yeah, Tommy Taylor. And he. Ch uh, Crosses, right switches big. it across the, uh, that was, huh? this side of the ground. Now back into the middle. In the hands of Swise. Swise on the left foot. He's got a player out wide. And he, he's going to get right. the free kick there because uh, Warner didn't have eyes for the ball. But bader has got it at the moment. He kicks it to, down towards Richardson. Nearly uh, had an argument for a free, but uh, the ball's gone over his head. And I put that down as a rush behind. 131 leads 48. We've been going 25 and a half now, last quarter. And what's that last score for you got me, Pretzel? Uh, uh, Emerald Hills, will I think it to be. Yeah, no. It's gone out of bounds. Yeah, yeah. it's Emerald at 13, 22, 100. We've defeated Hillsville, 2, 3, 15. Wow, that's a big comeback, wasn't it? Uh, as you say, a few of the boys not there for Hillsville this week. Wish they were missing last week. Stiff. <laughs> 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 No, it's good to see the young kids uh, getting up. Uh, watch what you want to see. Promotion and uh, keep bettering yourselves if you can. It's gone out of bounds once again. On the outer Full side. Full time at the Superdome, Leo. Uh, okay, what's happened there? Up by 8 11 59. 8-11-59. Been yeah. defeated by Wurri Alec. 13-18-96. Always a good game. Battle of the Tigers. So, well, we're just at the Mombok Land Evelyn. And, uh, yeah, we've got that full time, but the ball's come back down. Okay. It's going to be another ball up, so we can do that one quickly, which is Mombok 14 26 110. 
To Mount Evelyn, 5 8 38. How bad is that kicking? What a goal kicking practice. Well, the problem is they're, they're uh, on the side of a hill, aren't they? <laughs> yeah, but still. Oh, what a, oh, what a pick up by Cody. Slammed it on the right boot around the corner and uh, just rushed through for a behind on the uh, last line of defence there. So 20 goals, 22, 1 3, 2. Ah, uh, Nary, 5 7, 6 48. What have we been doing now? 27 minutes, boys. Can't be too much longer to go, you wouldn't think. Yeah, we've got the late one. We have indeed. <laughs> Good mark. Well, the ball goes over to Pence down to yeah. several every time, so Paddy Hodges. And we started a couple of minutes late. We Bus didn't runs it over. A bit of over the top. Wants to give it out now. Could have given a handball over the top. Didn't do it. Had to go himself was Johnson. Just skids through for another behind two. It's his first behind of the afternoon. It is, yeah. Probably had a handball over the top. 7 7 49. Uh, Wandon, on the plus side, minute, he's leading the goal kicking now, Leah. Okay, 20, Richards has only got two. Right. He's got three. Well, I'm glad you said that. Big kick now. The mark's been taken, and Wandon, there's absolutely no defence being played whatsoever at the moment. Kick in there, my moot sayers. Finds Paddy Odgett once again. He's too far out to score. Running pass for the handball, not given, was Van Duren. Goes square now. Could have given up to Van Duren, who would have been running into a goal. And it is very, very dark. The lights haven't taken effect just yet. Thank goodness they're using a yellow footy. Good kick into that forward pocket. Can't hang on to that mark. as a chop of the arms. Yep, yep. That was from Garner, kicking uh, that one in. Yep, and uh, went against Patworth. And the free kick here going to Clinton Johnson. Kick one in uh, from a similar position a bit further out before, so... Get excited if he kicks it, Leo. Oh, oh, look, I'm... Do it. I've got goosebumps coming up already. I can just feel it happening. <laughs> Go on, then. All yours. I might call him Mutimer, though, if I get too oh, excited. shut up. <laughs> So coming in, nice little kick. Oh, it's got a nice little bit of sway on it as well. Straight over umpire Small's head. And Clinton Johnson has kicked his fourth goal. And the eighth goes on the board there. 4-1 and they go to eight. Goal 7-5 as the siren does sound for full time. And Nary have gone on to win 20 goals at 22, 132. And uh, great score there to Nary Warren. As much as this was pushy, pushy, shove, shove, both sides, I think, got a pretty good heart and respect for each other. And uh, shake hands and say, well, hopefully we'll have another go at you come finals time. But Nary certainly have dominated this particular game. And let's face it, they've been a dominant side all year. Boys, uh, what we might do is just tell this up. Let's all go to our uh, bit of a break and we can come up and we can clear up the entire league scores from in and around town. So we'll go back to Joey for a short break, Joey, and uh, we'll be brought back here in a short time. Thanks, Joey.